Hey guys, Ram Levon here, and today is the big day, guys. As you guys know on this channel, I like Pecron products. I have a lot of them, and I've used them for more than a year, and I have learned a lot of things when it comes to Pecron. Okay, so uh, Mrs. Rambling Bob, if you want to carry the big package over here, Woo! we have the delivery here. Now, this is not a sponsor review, even though I'm going to mark it as such, but we paid our hard-earned money for this Ooh. system. That's how much I believe in our products that we're getting Ooh. from Pecron. Okay, so there you go. this is... Uh, a box. This is the first section, right? This is the E1500 LFP system. Hopefully you can see that on camera here. Um, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of system. That's a lot of box. It is a lot of box. box. Okay. So it's the E1500 LFP. We're going to unbox it real quick just to kind of see. Um, so today we're going to focus just kind of on the unboxing and first impressions and kind of see what you get in the box. And they should call it a de-boxing. I wish I had a... Getting rid of it. My knife. I don't have my knife. Okay. Right? That's true. D-box? D-box. All right, let's see here. I got it. Uh, there, I got one side. Now, one thing I like a lot about Pecron and Blue Eddie, Ooh. for that matter, is... Packaging! Packaging. They How really they do a good job stuff. packaging, guys. So, if you notice, I open this box and look at There's another box inside. That's called double mm. wall card. Kind of see that. Not really. But... All right. What well, is it? Is it... Uh, let's it's see if we can... It is, okay, well, let's go up a little bit here, guys. That's a big package, guys. All right, there we go. That's a little bit better. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so like I said, this this is a big system. This and we and we ordered. We didn't go for it. We ordered the and paid for the entire full system. So it'll be about approximately 7.7 .7 kilowatts of power. It's actually 7,690 rated watt hours. We don't know what the runtime is. I'm guessing and assuming right around 6,900 or 7,000. Um, anything from Miss Rambling Bob? I can't wait to see what's in the box. Yeah, okay, it's fair a big enough. Box. Okay, so obviously we have to. I have to set this on the floor real quick because the box inside the box is hard to get out. If Miss Rambling Bob would push down on those two flaps, I'll pull these on up. Oh, oh that's not gonna work. Okay. We'll take that part. Uh, this part out. Okay. There we go. Almost. Yep. Okay. Go. Woo! All right, they're really in there, guys. Ready? Pull. Push your feet on the box to pull down. Mm -hmm. Almost. Alright guys. I think the box is winning. Yeah, the box is winning, box guys. Maybe like that. Maybe it'll help. There we go. Alright, so hey. we're just gonna take it out of the box, guys. Okay. Because, boy, it was it's packed so good, guys. Okay, so here. You have your double wall cardboard. Like this. <coughs> and then you have that. your uh, your levels of foam. So they packed it really good. This was a really good package. Very well protected. Um, you know, so every once in a while, no offense guys, I have these knucklehead idiots from some no. of the uh, delivery places that, uh, you know, like to throw your stuff. Uh, this one, I met the young lady outside from FedEx, and I have to say, she did a wonderfully marvelous job. Uh, these batteries are dangerous, guys. Uh, okay, so that's out of the way. So this is what you get in the package here. That is, uh, <coughs> we have a bunch of these, don't we? Yeah. I like we have like, I, I want to say one, two, three. I think we have four of these already. I like them though. They uh, they very work. good cases, guys. Like it's not a joke. It's it's actually decent. It's got a nice handle. There's a rubber holder. Uh, these are uh, not waterproof, but water shed. Hopefully you can see this all on the mm -hmm. TV there. Um, so as you can see, it's you have to fight them to get them open. Now I like that because uh, if if you have to fight it to get it open, that means water has to uh, fight to get inside there. So all right, so that's that. And then here, this is the star of the show here. Um, like I said, this is our second full system from Pecron, and we paid our, our money for it. This is not a sponsored review. They did not uh, you know, give us this for free or anything. Uh, we paid for the entire thing. I would like to see the covers on right away. Yeah. Is that too high or too low? Or? A little high now. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, okay so uh, let's see. Press and hold. Oh, see, here's a little thing for the, uh, the Wi-Fi here. Let's see. Hopefully we can take that off, guys stickers on the systems i'm just not a fan of all right so it leaves residue behind guys so when you try to take off the sticker up here guys uh you're gonna need some like what is that called uh, goo gone or gooby gone yeah something like that like I, I think it's called goo gone um but what this does is this teaches you how to set up the wi-fi and everything um so that's a very good thing guys it teaches you how to turn it on uh let's see let's see blah, 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 blah. Yep, pairing mode. Okay, so this teaches you how to turn a system on and put it into the the uh, the, the the system, so you can have your your Wi-Fi and your app and everything. So I'll take that off later because you know once you get it hooked up and you understand how to do it, then life's easy. It's it's getting to that uh, you know that that point of life of learning. That's that's the curveball. 
All right, so this is what the system looks like. Now, right away it looks a little bit slimmer than the other one because the E2000 LFP is a, a just under 50 pounds and this is about 40 pounds. So right off the bat, uh, if you're having trouble carrying it, it's much better. Yeah, it feels that way. Yeah, it does, it does. Uh, the batteries are the same, guys. So you got 60 some pounds on the batteries each. Um, it's 3,072 watt hours on the, each battery. You can't really shorten that. A battery is a battery unless you change the chemistry of the battery. So uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries is what they are, 3,500 cycles to 80%. So the weight of the battery is, it, it is what it is. It's hard to change that. Mm -hmm. The only other way you can maybe make the, the system lighter is to you know, change some of the features or the additions to what they put in there, the options, the inverters and things like that. But um, I don't want them to get you know cheap on us here. Um, right off the bat, I like I like this. I like this. A lot of people probably doesn't care about this. I do. I'm 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 a production guy. I like that these uh, little lines here they match the battery. battery. I, I like that. I don't know. It's just me. I like that. Um, oh look, babe, look what it's got. Does it? Yeah. Uh oh, oh no! Way. Guys, wait, hold on. We gotta go slow. Okay. All right. She's all about these little things. All right. Hey, Get it, Miss Ramley, Bob. Get it. Are you satisfied? No. Okay. So uh, she, for some reason, she is all about uh, that. Oh, and she's dressed as a reindeer. Oh, I um, wasn't going to address yeah, that at all. Hopefully you guys saw that. So she's dressed fully from head to toe as a reindeer today uh, uh, because we were doing a special for the Christmas season at one I, of the places that we go to. I was just hoping we wouldn't address it and see if anyone noticed. Uh, they'll notice. They'll notice. Yeah. She has know? even She has even the white belly like a reindeer. Okay. So. Uh, that's the system. Uh, we talked about this here. Uh, the screen is pretty much the same, except you have a few more options because of the Wi-Fi and whatnot. Uh, this also has the UPS built in, so that's that's obviously a, uh, an added feature to this thing. Um, the the 30 amp out, 12 volt. That that's a big thing, guys. If you're into diesel heaters and stuff. I've already noticed differences. I'm sitting there comparing. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, talk away. Talk away. Less flaps. Less flaps. Yeah, guys, yeah. I like these. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm an old school guy. I like these flaps. Um, Peck Ram, please don't take my flaps away. <laughs> on the E3600 LFP, I'd like to see these flaps. Yeah, um, no, uh, on the other one, it's on here, 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 and on here. The USB, it's on everything. And on it, yeah, everything. everything. Yeah. And here, and here, and. Yeah, yeah. But you still have this one. See that? <laughs> Yay. There we go. Are you going to. No, 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 because then you get shocked. Okay, so um, I, I have to have one of those Hobotech gloves and put it on there. So basically, um, you get the three ports here, the 120 volts at uh, 20 amps there. You get the screen. Um, you know what? Let's turn it on just to see what it does. And I wanted to do this in real time, guys, because this is what you get right out of the box. Well, now, for me, that's really big as far as it looks like the screen's a little bit brighter, doesn't it? Hit that button once. So let me see that screen on that one. I'll put them side by side later. Oh, yeah, about the same. Okay, maybe because it's under the, directly under the lights, guys. But um, everything's pretty much the same, guys. You probably see you tap that. Here's Whoa. your 53. Now, remember, that looks high to you, right? That looks oh, very I'm scary so high. Oh, because you're pushing buttons already. Careful there. Oh, gotcha. Okay, well, this looks high, guys, because this is a 48-volt battery it's pack now. getting excited. So what happens is the other one is a 24-volt battery. And if you have an older system and you go and pick up this one, guys, do not, I repeat, do not put the EB3000 batteries hooked to this or you will have possibly a fire. Uh, you'll definitely have a problem because you don't want to mix voltage like that. Um, so th th that's a nice thing. It gives you the same option as far as the percentage. Here's your battery wire frame. Um, your DC out is obviously at zero. Um, that's rare because usually it shows about one, two, or three watts on the other one. So that's that's a little different. We have to you know, we'll do testing later. Um, and then the other one, uh, I think you have to turn on the AC. Yep, so once you turn on the AC, obviously you have zero and zero. And then you hit the AC button and notice that this changes to 60 hertz and 119 volts. So now you know that you have a 120 volt system at 60 hertz, that's pure sine wave. And then you have the 67% or 52.2 um, volt battery pack, which is a, known as a 48 volt battery pack, guys. So it, it's always higher than what they say, uh, except what was that one company? At um, uh, Aventon, Aventon, Aventon sold us three thousand dollars of bikes, and they were supposed to be forty-eight volt battery packs, and they're rated at forty-six point eight. Uh, very disappointed with that. Very disappointed with that. So obviously the the system right out of the box, guys, it works. Like I said, we're fans of Pecron. We've had our E two thousand LFP. Uh, not only not only did we have it operating for an entire year. But we had it on video, and you know that's that's a lot to put your system on video like that for everyone to critique it. Uh, we did too. We we critiqued it as far as the 
uh, the charging box, which is now gone. You have a straight in AC adapter. That's nice. Uh, you also have a fuse right here. Do you remember a fuse being there? Oh, no, because that was in the box. Is so, that what that thing is? This thing? Yeah. Yeah, so what you can do is you can uh, use a screwdriver, and then you can pull out the fuse like that. So I thought it was like a key, but like when you start a car, it looked like a little, you know. Here, so you turn it off, and then you can undo this here. And now what this is, guys, is this is, if you had a problem with the system, you see this? So now that's a big fuse. That's a 25 amp fuse. That's a big fuse, guys. So uh, don't go popping this, right? Because uh, replacing this might be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, the model number is RT18RT14. Now that sounds like a lot of gibberish, but that's a really important uh, set of numbers, guys. Because if you don't have those exact numbers... Uh, you don't have a properly uh, a fused system. <laughs> and then that goes right in there. When I saw it, I was confused. Yeah, she was confused. Yeah, I, okay, I'll read that. You and then you just twist it in there like that, guys, and that's it. All you do is, no, don't, don't, don't go too tight, guys. Just snug it in there, and it's fine. And then you won't be confused. And then you won't be confused. Yeah. So that, that's basically the entire system. Uh, and then now we're going to see, and then we're going to open the... Uh, uh, this and then we're going to show you what the batteries look like. Ugh. It is a heavy system guys. It is. No. Um, oh, th these are the new sides guys. Here, check this out. This is cool. Um, I'm going to show you everything I can. So you still have your dual vents on the side and then this. This is your DC. Now look at this. This is a much more heavy duty beefy connection. So on the original one guys, this was 100% uh, ABS plastic. That was uh, the, the protection if you will from arcs or shocks or anything like that. Now this looks like, and it feels like, with my finger, it feels like aluminum. So the entire thing feels like uh, aluminum uh, casing. And then you have the rubber cap. And you know what? Uh, Miss Rambling Bob, if you look close, you see how they changed the cap here? So it, it, it's a lot more easy. Do you remember how we mm -hmm. had trouble getting those in the batteries? Mm -hmm. Here, let, let you put that on there, and you can see that they, they changed it a little bit. Hey, I'm a reindeer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. It's a lot easier, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, so there you got your, your, this is for your expansion battery, of course. And then on your other side, okay, on the back, there's nothing. But look at it, it does have these. Whoa. I like those. I don't know why. I like those, guys. I like lines. it. Probably because it, it, it matches the batteries. And the E600 LFP also have the lines. I don't know why they did the E2000 LFP without the lines. So that was, that was kind of a crazy thing of... They changed it for some reason. I, I have no idea why. And then on the other side, you have obviously your two vents, which is your uh, probably uh, this. But I have to say uh, your input, and then the because your fans are always on your exhaust, guys. They never want to have fans on the input. They always have fans blowing out. So the one thing that's different with this system compared to the E2000 LFP is the battery expansion is on this side now. It's on the left side, and on the original E2000 LFP, it was on the right side. So that's that's something that, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that'll bother anybody, but, you know, we always, we give as much information as we can with these systems. This is this is a hobby that caught me I, by fire. I, I love it. I didn't know that, so... Right, see, so yeah. every little bit of information, guys. You know, like, uh, don't put these up against the wall, guys. If you're going to put it against the wall, you know, make sure you got it about a half a foot to a foot away from the wall for safety, uh, fire hazard kind of things. And then, uh, which I can't wait for, we're going to open them, uh, is you get those new 90-degree angle uh, ah. battery cascading cables. So I can't wait for those. Okay, so we're going to look in the pouch here. We're going to see what we get. Are they in there? Do we know? Nope, they're going to be in those. Now. Shh, that, the surprise, the suspense. Okay. Come oh, on. Okay, yeah, yeah. They might be in here. Do you think they're in here? I don't know. I guess we'll find out now. Bam! Okay, they're not in there. Okay, okay so, <laughs> so I knew that. I knew that before. All right, so you get another one of these guys. That's if good. you remember, this is the thing that started this entire channel. Is the Pecran, the famous Pecran uh, owner's manual that never taught us how to hook up the cascading batteries and drove us all crazy for uh, what do you think, two, three months, four how months? How long has it been now? It's been a year. Well, there you go. Yeah, the, the, the first, yeah, but we figured it out after a few months. But yeah. um, you, we really had to, you know, learn some stuff to figure that out. And now, uh, the, the uh, instructions uh, they look. Oh, that one says no. Well, it's, yeah, and, and notice it's a much more clearly written. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one, you know, the Pecran is obviously a Chinese company, guys. So their their translation from either Mandarin or uh, Chinese to English, hey, it's always tough, guys. Anytime you buy something overseas, you're going to have that problem with the communication. That's any company, anywhere, any anywhere, in anywhere, in any company, any product. Uh, it's just 
it's part of the game, unfortunately. Uh, I wish, to be honest, I wish that every company, I want to say uh, EcoFlow, uh, Occutel, Pecoron, Goal Zero, uh, Blue Eddy, all of them, guys, Nursby, VTO Man, uh, uh, all of them. I wish that they would have, in every country that they sell the products, I wish that they would have uh, at least one representative uh, for each country that they sell in in the native language and that way that would solve so much problems thumbs up and likes guys if you think that's a good idea i thought it was a good idea what 20 30 years ago but you know the world changes so fast guys um what else is in there all right so here th this is cool okay oh. wow look at these these are nice yeah. um those of you guys who've never seen these before these they actually use in uh my trade which is the dj trade um in production these are actually cable wraps uh, cable ties cable wraps and you put them the size you need and use them for velcro so they can literally fit whatever you want so if you want to wear them on your fingers and make something cool while you're waiting for the show so you don't lose them you can you know yeah. go like that and wear them on your hands so you don't lose them but uh, that's that's a nice touch because a lot of times guys they give you those stupid twist ties i don't like that because if a, if a machine twist ties a cable like that sometimes they twist it too tight and you see some of these get ripped mm -hmm. because the machine you know uh twists it a little a little bit uh too it's much here guys tied. Uh, let me let me put this down a little bit just to make sure. Uh, Miss Ramley, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know if you can see it. Thank you. All right. All right. Stay on your toes, Miss Ramley, Bob. Okay. So this is the. Uh, oh, see, that's nice. Now, what, Miss Ramley, Bob? Why do you think they make them at different lengths? So you know which one's which. Nope. The red is so you know which one is positive. Well, so what if you're colorblind? Well, why do you, why do you think? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Then they have the fuse box. But why why do you think they're at different lengths? Why do you think? Think of safety. Think of why they're different lengths. No one's positive and one's negative. Yep. But think of why they're different know. lengths for safety. For safety, not colors. I don't know. It's so they have a hard time touching each other. I just did. Well, yeah, but see, you have you have to fight to get them to touch. Oh, see yeah, that? they can't like if they accidentally were, bump. Yes, each if other. they were the same height, see how you could accidentally shock each other. So th they that's that I like that. That's a smart thing. Some people hate that. I like that because anytime you're dealing with electricity, guys, safety is a good thing. These look like copper contacts. These are a heck of good grabbers. Holy cow! You want to put your finger in there? Nope. Oh wow! You Mobile tech, come give me your finger. Holy, look at squish my hand. Holy cow! The bite of these alligator clips, guys, is just that alligator clips. Holy crap, Zilla. All right, so let's put that away here. All right, so you get, uh, let's see here. Well, I suppose we can just leave them out. Okay, so that's alligator clips, and that's the XT60, guys. So you put it up here, and then you can literally charge your car uh, 12 volts up to 30 amps. And now up to 30 amps, you know what that means, guys? That means that you can literally start that car in no time. Because that energy will flow from this bad boy straight into your car battery, and then you can get it going. Uh, be you know be careful, obviously, when you do that, guys. Uh, this is your fuse. It's probably a 15. Oh, no, it's a 30. Oh yeah, 30. Yeah, because it's 30 now. Um, used used to be less. So there's your blade fuse. It's a simple thing. You just pop it right out of there, and you got a 30. Uh, most people that have cars obviously have a handful of these. Um, if, if you don't, you should run out and get a handful of them. That way, if you ever have a problem on the side of a freeway or something. Uh, gas station or wherever you always have extra fuses for your car. All right, so the next thing is look at this bad boy Now I'm happy to see this. You know what this is a cable All right, but what's this cable for? What do you think this cable is for? Oh, uh, it's for the power station All right, it's not only for the power station guys But if you remember we used to have a five pound brick that came with the other system The E2000 LP had a five pound brick Look at this. I can plug this bad boy directly into that system. Oh. And you don't have to, and it's got the little safety. I don't know why they do that, but you know, it's nice. I guess it's a nice added touch. Safety. Yeah, so you don't poke your eye out. Like, I don't know. Who knows? You don't need that. Here, I'm going to throw it over there. Or whatever they do on the videos nowadays. I don't know. These kids are crazy. Okay, so that's a very heavy duty cable, guys. And it has to be heavy duty, and it's all certified. Here's all your certifications on the side of it. Um, this is probably, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess 12 gauge. Let's see what it is here. It is um, 300 volts, uh, 105 degrees Celsius. That's hot. That's over 200 oh. degrees Wait. Fahrenheit. And then you have three wires at 14 gauge. Wow, I thought it would be more. I thought it would be 12 gauge. Yeah. So you said that one's lighter, right? The new one? Yeah, by about eight pounds. But it, it's lighter and it still has a charging part inside of it? That's crazy. Because well, and here, see, here's the reason why. So how many watt hours does the E2000 LFP have in the main system? Do you remember? 2K. 
Just about 1,920 watt hours is in the 2,000. Okay. That's why they call it a 2,000. It's just short of 2,000 watt hours. This one is called the E1500. Why? Because it's 1,500. Because there's just a hair under 1,500 watt hours in the system. Are you measuring with wood? You know, well, they do the measurements with wood and it's like. No, it's a watt hour thing. Huh. If, if you took 500 watt hours of batteries out of here, what does that leave? That leaves an empty spot in there where you can put other stuff, right? Oh, and, and that's why they put the thing So then they in. put this in here. So this thing is probably about this big, guys. Because if you look at the original uh, power pack, it's, um, it's if you want to grab one, dear, grab the, grab the original one. Yeah, grab the, the, the first one that they came out with. And so this is, a, this is really nice, guys. Look at this. Would you rather carry this or, uh, let's see. Uh, this thing right here, guys. Oh, okay. Is, so lunchbox. this is the lunchbox. Okay. So would you rather carry this around or this plus this? I mean, look at the size of this, guys. It looks like you know your your granddaddy had this going to work so back in the fifties. So that's inside of there now. Yeah. So this brick, I, it's probably smaller, but oh. this brick right now, if I can have the updated newer one, this brick is now built inside the system. So that's why this has less watt hours as far as batteries because they were able to integrate this into the system now, guys. And just like I said, look at the size of this thing. And, and even the newer one, this is the E2000 LFP. This is the E2000 LFP. That is the newer version, okay? So what they did is they slimmed it down. I made fun of it in all my videos. So a lot of people, you know, they, they're, they, they think I, I'm 100% for Pecron. I'm 100% for any system that works. That's what I'm for. And uh, I spent a lot of money on this stuff for many systems. I got Occutel too, so I want a system that works. I don't care who makes it, I want a system that works. Because when it comes down to an emergency, I guarantee you the emergency doesn't care if you have Nike written on the side or Adidas. It just has to work. That's it. And I've, I've had I've had literally uh, no problems for what I needed. It saved my butt a lot of times. Even that little E600 LFP, that one saved my butt. Um, so that's the original. As you can see, they slimmed it down a lot, but still it's huge. So I'll give this one back to Miss Rambling Bob. Do That's we, all the way on the right hand yeah. side. Do you think they slimmed it down even more? To put it in there? Okay, that's good. All right, that's over there. Do you think they slimmed it down even more to put it in there? Well, it's possible because remember now you don't need the casing, right? So yeah. the aluminum casing is gone, so you don't need that anymore. So then you have, as you can see, that that case is about the size of where it probably is inside there. Now I can open this whole thing up and take a look, but okay. I'm, I'm gonna guess that there's an, uh, a, a DC charger in there, AC to DC charger, that's literally from here straight down. So instead of it having it here, they just put this on the side and they put that bad boy right in here like that. As you see, that's literally about the size. So yeah. they, they probably slimmed it down a little bit. And then, um, so I'll have you hang that one back up. Okay, so that's that one, that's done. And then you have, what, what else we got in this little bad boy here? The, I like the pouches, guys. I like the pouches. You can use them to take your lunch in if you want. Uh, then we have three more cables here, guys. So this one is the five-pin aviation, which is nice because Pecron stick, they stuck with, they stick, they, they stuck with the five-pin aviation. And um, it looks like, I, I can't tell, it looks like, if you remember on the E2000 LFP, guys, uh, it looks like they got rid of the, the threads. If you guys remember, they had these little cable threads there yeah um do i have anything up there with a cable thread uh, nope okay no worries okay. so uh now you just plug them straight in like that so uh you don't have to worry about threading oh, the them because part at the end? yeah the threads so uh, th that was that was a headache so this is basically a five pin aviation so they stuck with the same model that's good because that means you can use uh other uh, devices or other pieces on the other devices which is nice guys you don't have to run out um, if you guys remember like Jack or you had to go buy this and you had to buy that and like Apple you had to buy this and you get a new iPhone you had to buy that. I, I didn't like that. So I, I do like that they stuck with the same uh, you know style and model and everything in ports. Uh, so that's a plus. And then this is an Anderson power pole. So you can go from your five pin aviation here in case you have a you know a Anderson power pole. Some people have an Anderson power pole for their uh, solar panels and whatnot. So th that's that's a nice thing that they throw it in there. Uh, Pecron is always known for giving you a lot of accessories. I, I do like that a lot. Okay, so the next one, um, just these little things, guys, are a buck a piece. These little wraps here. And you'll use, I believe, I guarantee you'll use them around your house. If you don't put them in here and you just keep them like that, you'll use these for something else around the house, I guarantee you. I got probably, I don't know, I probably had hundreds of them at one time. Okay, so this is the standard car cigarette lighter. So you pop that in your car and then you plug this bad boy right into here. 
and then boom there you go you can charge about uh, i think it's about anywhere between 90 and 110 uh watts at uh, 12 volts um this does not accept the 24 volt if you have a 20 volt 24 volt system unless you go in the higher uh, and this will start charging at about 30 volts i've, I've noticed um, from watching other people's reviews but you know we're going to do our own reviews i like to test this stuff myself guys i watch a lot of reviews but i like to test it myself because uh, the only way to know if it really does what you need it to do is to try it yourself I, i'm a huge fan of that um, that's also another reason why I don't edit videos. I, I like to see things in real time. That way, remember, I can go back and watch my own videos, and then I can learn from my mistakes if I make them, or I can learn other things that help us learn together as a team. Right, Miss Rambling Bob? Yeah. And then that way we can have an educational uh, time with our, our like legit favorite new hobby. Like, solar's caught me by just absolute fire, uh, and I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. So we have one more cable, which is this bad boy here, and then... Um, so you get all these little cable tie things here. Hopefully that's all on video. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's right. All right, good. so now this is the main one that you're gonna be using all the time, guys. So, so we have four of these already, and that's because we have the E600 LFP, the E2000 LFP, the EB3000, and another EB3000. So, a few uh, things, yeah. just a couple things. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I, I like Pecron, guys. I don't know, there's some folks out there that had a bad run with Pecron. I, I, I like Pecron. I mean, I look at this, a $3,500 system. I'm going to show you the whole system. I paid my money for this system because I believe in this 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 uh, this product. Um, and I still use my E2000 every day. I don't think it's had a day off yet, right? No, other no than days one, off. Yeah, like for a year other than we swapped a few things. But, oh, you know, yeah. that, was, that was by choice. I didn't have to swap them. I wanted to. Um, and now I have a version 2 E2000 LFP. Uh, so you got your standard 5-pin aviation port on one side, and then you have MC4. Now, these are the industry standard, guys. They, they, they call it industry standard for a reason, and they have a nice plus and a minus. Now, guys, here's a big misconception about solar panels um, and charging. I, I made this mistake when I first started out, too, and I think, I think everybody did. We have to own up to it and admit that we all made the same mistake. So when you see red, what's the first thing you think of in electronics, guys? Positive. Positive. Good. That's, see, that's a good answer, Miss Randling Bob. Thank but you. notice that this is a negative on here. Wow. So uh, d don't trust the colors always. The best way to do it, guys. Colorblind people, I'm telling you. Yep. The, yeah. the best way to do it life in, in life, guys, is get yourself a multimeter, and you can literally see which way it's coming up. Because remember, this looks like positive because it's red. Right? See? Red positive. But that's actually the negative lead. So the positive is actually the other one, which you well, would what think. What happened with the multimeter then? Uh, the multimeter would show you the voltage either going in or out. So it'll be like, it'll show you that there's stuff coming yep. in. If, if it's hooked the correct way, yeah. then it'll show a positive number. If it's hooked the wrong way, it'll show a negative number. Oh, okay. So it gives you the... the um, the direction yeah. of the energy in which way it's going to flow so you can not burn up a power station that costs a lot of money, not burn up your panels, not overheat your plugs or anything or burn out your battery packs. I mean, there's so many bad things can happen, guys, if you hook a panel up backwards. What I'm hoping also is this have, now the E2000 LFP also has uh, a blocker in there. There's, there's an automatic where it won't turn on when you hook up say say you hooked them up backwards guys and this is a must for every power station in the world now from today forward it has to be i 100 percent. so if, if you hook this up like this and you are doing uh you know your solar say you had just one panel you want to do something quick and you plop it in there and the what's called the polarity okay is the wrong way the polarity is the the way that the energy would cycle okay that's the polarity so it, and in this instance, it would be positive in and then negative out. Positive in, negative out. Remember, this is DC, right? So uh, alternating current is, you know, like this. It doesn't matter because hence the name alternating current. But mm -hmm. uh, DC is direct current. So mm -hmm. the energy would come in this one, go up, and then back out this one. Mm -hmm. And remember how easy it is to miscon uh, misconstrue mm -hmm. that as the positive because you see that red. I think that these should be black. I really do. I, I know why they put it red is so you can see it and you know it's there. I get that. Yeah, but they could use a different color. 
Yeah, but they're probably so used to doing it. Or put this over on, you know, this side. But yeah. uh, so don't, don't make that mistake, guys. But remember, inside here, hopefully on this one, this has what's known as a polarity blocker. And what that does, guys, is if you had the, the you know, like say uh, another Chinese company or another company from uh, Mexico or where, wherever it came from, it could be Germany, wherever. And you know, if they hook up theirs differently, right? Because every company has their own ways. Uh, it would be great if the whole world all matched, but it's not always that way. So, like, if you look at uh, DC meters, th these this is a must-have, guys. If you don't have these, get one or two of these right now. This is not even a joke. This will save your butt from burning out a battery pack or a power station or a panel uh, in a second. So, what you do is you hook the panel to this in the source, of course. Remember that? It, always put it to the source, of course. And the load is the things that you're you're drawing energy on. So when you hook this up, notice that, again, the black one has the red on it, which is really, that's, you know, like I said, I made this mistake, year, you know, years ago when I first got into solar, guys, is I didn't understand because on some companies, guys, they'll give you, like they did, both of these wires are black, right? So if they didn't have this little fancy tag right here, you wouldn't know what the heck you're doing. So this one was nice because they actually gave you the red one. Now, notice that Pecron gave you the red one on the alligator clamps, mm -hmm. but on the most important thing in the entire box, they didn't put the red on there. So that's, that's something to really learn about solar, guys, because you could really be in a bad way if you get a short or something. Uh, you could start a fire. Yeah. We're talking about like different the ways people know. What's like? What about reverse polarity? Is that something? Well, reverse know? polarity is what I just explained. So, uh, regular polarity is the polarity that you have designed to use for your system. So, as you see, as we put this, right, that's negative, and this mm -hmm. is positive. So that means the correct polarity. Reverse polarity. <clears throat> excuse me. The reverse polarity just means that these ports are accidentally the wrong so way. So that's what that means. Hence reverse okay. polarity. So that means that system can recognize that it's... It, it recognizes that it's wrong. Yeah. And it will not let energy go into the box. Does it let you know that it not? I mean, okay. No, spoilers. it just won't turn on. So if it doesn't Sorry. turn on, you know right away that it, chances are 99% of the time it's your polarity, guys. Um, so that's a nice thing to know right away that you know, uh, the, uh, the system by not turning on, not activating, is saying hey, you know, something's goofy here, check it. And that saves you you know, this is a thousand dollar box right here. This is a, it's a thousand dollars, guys. Um, that's not funny if you break this. It's not funny. And here's here's something that a lot of people don't know. Warranties are as good as the paper they're written on. So you have to read warranties fully. Um, if you were to damage this by, you know, doing reverse polarity, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, that's not covered by a warranty, guys. And a lot of people don't understand that, you know? If you have a car and you drive it and you, you know, you cram the gears like that, that's not covered under the warranty because, shift. yeah, you're working it too hard, right? Unless it's explicitly written in the warranty. There's a company that we found, guys, that uh, sells you the power station and everything is under warranty except the battery, battery. pack. Can you believe that? That's a, that's a, when I, when I, uh, read that warranty i was shocked guys don't just get a warranty read it learn about it understand it if you don't understand a word it's all in legalese guys which is a lawyer speak if you don't understand what a word means look it up you'll be happier in the long run also warranties do not cover shipping that's a big thing guys if you had to send this back right now how much would it cost miss rambling bob too much how much do you think like a hundred and like hundred dollars but a hundred but yeah, that's correct a hundred bucks so guys we had to ship a system back uh to one company we almost had to ship two and um they were to charge us a hundred dollars that's a lot of money guys that's a lot you just dropped a thousand on the machine right yeah so you don't have an extra hundred i mean who's made of money like that you know we don't have money trees in our, our neck of the woods and if we did we'd cut those suckers down wouldn't we miss rambling yeah but <laughs> so. money isn't yeah, and yeah, well, that's true. Money's not paper. Okay, so that's that's the case, guys. Here's all your wraps, and then here's all your cords now. Now, that's the main system, guys, so that was exciting. Uh, we got to see that right out of the box. There's no funny business. As you see, it works right out of the box. Uh, it turns on, and if you want to just here goof around here just for a second, I'm going to plug this in here. Let's see if there's enough power. 
Uh, so this is going to pull up to 1,400 watts now. Now, this outlet, guys, is hooked to the E2000 LFP. That's so I was pointing it over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to run it long because this system, not that I don't trust it, but this system is also hooked to our freezer and our fridge. So yep. if that compressor kicks on yep. and you're pulling 1,400 watts out of this bad boy, yep. that's going to kick it over 2,000 and pop that inverter. So I don't want to do that. I always got to go reset the well, thing. Well, that and you're just charging your station with your station. That's yeah, you're, you're charging mean. a station because off a station. So uh, we don't have have any electric in this room guys that we use everything in this in the entire office uh, 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 workshop is run off the e2000 lfp that's not a joke like we run tvs laptops lights uh cameras charging stuff to wall tools Action. refrigerators um the the freezer um oh my gosh what else TV. oh my, my my electric drum set i mean there's a lot of things at tvs uh there's a lot of things that we run on only only the E2000 LFP. We've been very happy with ours. I, maybe, I don't know if we got lucky, but we like it. We like it. And we put ours on video for a year. I'm going to charge my Pecron with my Pecron. I'm going to charge my Pecron with my Pecron. All right, let me whip out my Pecron here. Here we go. On top of the Pecron over here is another Pecron. So. Yeah. All right, so notice that we, we plugged in. Now, notice it says right away. Whoa. You see the click and the light? Now, that obviously proves that Whoa. energy is sucking out. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it over here. Look at that bad boy, huh? Oh, that's, oh, that's coming out. Look at 1,300. Uh, you're at 15 here. Okay, so we're at 15. So, I, like I said, I don't want to run it too it's long because... To yep, yep, that's the energy surge. I don't want to run it too long, guys, because, like I said, my freezer and my fridge are on the same system. I don't want it to click on because it'll pop it. But uh, notice here we're getting 1,220 watts, cool. and then I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it now because, like I said, I don't want it to pop. Rambling Bob has great timing where that's exactly when the fridge that's, would turn on. That's exa exactly, <laughs> guys. This system was delivered this morning, and I'm that so happy to really get it. That really fast. Yeah, it went up a percent, right? It was at 67, and now it's at 70. That went up like three yeah. percent already. So what do you think that means? I don't. I, well, it it it, it could have jumped up quick because. Or it's not. Uh, remember, that's 1,400 watts coming in, and remember, it's only a 1,500-watt system. Yeah. So when you're putting that much more power in, remember, that one charges, the E2000 LFP charges at about 1,100 watts. On paper, it's 1,200, guys, but you don't actually get 12 because of the conversion loss and everything. Right. Uh, each is a 600-watt power ad adapter, but you only get about 550 out of each one. Uh, we've tested that many times. Um, so that's uh, on this one now. This one didn't pull any punches. It can go all the way up to 1,400 watts, right, right into the system. So when you charge at a higher watt with less battery pack, the numbers go up much faster because of less to fill. Oh. You know, yeah. So if you have a smaller trunk, imagine if this is a trunk, guys. If you got 2,000 feet of space or 1,500, which is easier to fill? Obviously, the 1,500. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to put this bad boy away, and then we're going to keep going. So as you can see, the system, it all works good. We'll do the test later, but I just want to, I want to do the basic steps, guys, because I'm really excited to get this going. We'll, uh, we'll do a video. Uh, as you see, the AC, you heard that click. Mm -hmm. That's a 2200-watt inverter. That's a mean box for a little thing. Now, anytime that you have an inverter bigger than the battery pack, guys, that means you're going to lose a little bit on capacity because you're kind of overpowering the batteries now the because it's 2200 watt inverter and it's a 1500 watt you can see that's that's about 700 watts more on the inverter than what the battery is however this is where you get the the uh that that high 90 or that that uh, was at the low 90s uh, battery capacity back guys so if you ran the system just like this you get approximately 85 percent on the AC inverter and the reason for that is just like I said you're running a bigger inverter than what the battery pack is anytime you do that uh, you're, you're going to have power loss because it's a power hungry box for a small but now once you hook up these EP the EP the Eric Paul 3000 battery packs to this you're you're balancing out the battery pack that's way more now than the inverter so you have a 2200 watt inverter and a 7000 700 watt almost battery pack now you see how that equals out the playing field a little bit so it has a little bit more backup all right we're going to turn off the ac you hear it click okay and you'll turn off the dc and you hear it click now it's off the system's on standby 
Uh, so far, I'm happy, guys. I mean, it turned on. I'm happy so far. Uh, this is an absolute first unboxing. You saw it. We ripped the box open ourselves. I'm going to put no. this bad boy over here. We tried to rip the box open. <laughs> yeah, we yeah we sure did. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna keep going now. Oh boy. So this one, I don't think Mrs. Rambling Bob can actually pick up. I, w I might have been trying to say that. Uh, okay, so these are no joke, guys. So we have two of these. Okay. I think we are the only channel the same as the same. I wonder what could be in there. I have no idea. There's a box picture right there. Okay, so we, I, I believe, guys, uh, on everywhere on the internet, I believe that we are the only people that have the full system. Not one battery in the top. We have the full system so we can see real-time reviews and tests of what the entire system is. Not a piece of it, not part of it, the entire system. Dos so, baterias. Let's go. There you go. Okay, so let's open this up. Dos baterias. Okay. So we're going to open this. Once again, guys, Background does the double. Uh, uh, the double. I believe that's an industry standard now is to have the double wall because mm -hmm. for safety, obviously. So we're going to try to get this out. Now remember, this is heavy, guys. This is heavy. Hey, look at the top. Oh, my goodness. Look Wait. at this. Oh, wait. oh, I like that. Are those what I think they yeah, are? Yeah, yeah, they are. So, okay, hold on. I'll explain those. Wait, they don't even those. know. I'll explain hey, those. It's a... And then look it, what wait, we got, guys. Wait, wait, look, wait, what hold we on, got. Hold on. look what we got. If you know, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you know, you know, guys. If you, know... if you follow the channel, you know exactly what those are. All right, so we're going to take this out. All right. You know, you also know that the good, pack... good thick foam. Yep, what'd you say? I uh, also you know that the packaging's great, but it also means it's hard to get into. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'd rather have a, a package that's harder to get into, guys, than a cheap flimsy piece of junk that uh, you know the company just you know sticks them in all right so this weighs as much as i do oh my god oh Here my god are. okay Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. guys it's only 60 pounds but, oh it just it, it feels like i'm 100 years old when i lift these um do you know who's also excited about the double boxes though holy crap that was heavy rambling okay. bobcat Rambling Bobcat loves boxes. Now we got we're gonna have six There's extra so ones. Many for Rambling Bobcat. All right, are you excited about this? Holy Ooh. crap, Zilla guys! All right, yeah, but I'm gonna have her open this one. Okay. Because obviously they're the same thing, guys. Unboxing, except we have two. Over here, I'm over um, here. I promise. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, gonna... I I really wish that we could put like a hundred of these batteries to any one of those systems and max out a, a crazy, you know, fifty thousand watt hour battery uh, stack, if you will, an array of uh a power that would be awesome but these are limited to a certain amount of battery pack for obvious reasons safety is number one the resistance if you hook up too many battery packs together the resistance is too great and the heat causes much much many many problems inside these systems and you can start fires you could have short uh shorts uh, melted stuff in there so uh like listen to this warning guys only put two ep 3000s not the ebs guys the ep the eric paul okay can we uh, call them oh, eric paul now once the, eric someone's paul it's going to be eric paul yeah um yeah. only put two of these to an e1500 lfp or you will be sorry i promise and remember that's not covered by the warranty guys misuse of a product is never covered by warranty so be careful with that okay i don't want you guys to lose your systems i love these systems so much so here's the other one and once she gets that open, you'll see it. Now, obviously, you got two of these bad boys. So guys, we're collecting these. We're going to have a stack. We have seven of these now. We're going to have I seven like of these things. Though. I don't know where we're going to do it all. This. I like them. I'm going to use them. I like them a lot. All right, let me grab the other bed. Hopefully, this table will not collapse. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one second. Here we go. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, my God. Is that heavy? You know, like, don't. It's funny because oh. they, like, I think they're, like. Jesus. What's that word? It doesn't look that heavy compared to what it actually is. Seriously. Well, a rock. A rock. Guys, if you ever pick up a rock, no. a rock does not look heavy. Try no, to pick up a big not... rock. Not a boulder, just a rock. A rock the size of your head can weigh 100 pounds. It's crazy. Okay, so as you can see, this is the full setup now. Uh, two EP3000s. We paid our money for them. Uh, like I said, we, this was not a gift from any company. Uh, and these are 3,072 watt hours each, which makes the entire system 7,590 watt hours rated. That's what it's rated at. Um, so we're going to look at this before we look at these, and then we'll show you some cool stuff. Hopefully these will be out of the way. Are they out of the way enough? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, these, these down here. Okay. So now you can still see. Yeah. Um, these are heavy. I don't want to move them, guys. I really don't. Okay, so the only the only way to tell the difference, guys, if you look at them, you will not know the difference unless you read right here EP3000 and 48 volts. Remember, that can be deadly. Do not mix 48-volt battery packs and 24-volt battery packs together. 
you will be sorry i promise you um okay so we're gonna eric paul eric, eric paul eric paul there you go all right i'm gonna turn this here i'm gonna have a hernia turn in this oh all right so that's not part of that now this is the cool thing guys this is uh what i want you to see here so what this is right here this is a dial that lets you set how many batteries you have notice it says one two three four five and a zero so the nice thing is when you have two batteries it's going to want you to twist this to either one or two and that way the system understands that that's battery one inside the app and this would be battery two um start it you know start at probably zero or one and work your way up you read the instructions we'll, we'll go through that later you have your same uh, this is your cascading light. I don't know if this will turn on. Yep, a little bit. So uh, this is your cascading light uh, on the left side here. As you see, this came in at approximately 75%. That's a little high, guys. I'd like to see these shipped at 50% or less. I, I like that because um, you ship a lot of energy. It's, it can get dangerous. So you have your 25, your 50, your 75, and 100. Now, I, guys, I hate these lights. I, I do not like them. Why? Um, well, because number one, I don't like 25, 50, 75, 100. I want one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 100 because that's much easier for the human brain to grasp what percent we're on as opposed to, look, it's on 75%. So that means it can be anywhere between 75, 76, 77, 78, 70, all the way up to 99, right? Because the next light is 100. So just having those three lights, that means you don't know what the actual percentage of is that battery. Does that make sense, Miss Rambling Bob? Yeah, that's like those uh, the little battery packs that you get. Like yep, you yep. The old, the old cheapy, you know, the power bricks, guys, that you charge your phone with. I hated those. I always well, like... the number. Yeah, I, I always like uh, the ones like this, guys, where you have... Let's see if I can find one real quick. Um, okay, so I, I like the ones like this, guys, where you actually have... Notice that there's a number in there. See, 100%. I like that, and no I wish. Work involved. Yeah, you know exactly yeah, no that. fuss, no muss, no goofing around. See that? You know it's a hundred. You're ready to go. It's not seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven. And notice that this one just says 70, 75, so it could be anywhere between seventy-five and ninety-nine. And then as soon as it hits that a hundred, obviously it'd be a hundred percent. I would like to see, background, if you're paying attention, I would love to see a meter like this on the side of here. I don't know if it costs extra. It might. But uh, for the cost of these systems, this is a $3,500 system, uh, plus tax. That's a lot of money, guys. Um, but per watt hour, the cheapest on the market that we found, which is why we bought another Pecron full system with our own money. Um, I would like to see this meter on their batteries. But now, here's the plus. If you're going to use the app, guess what's in the app, guys? A full percentage like this in the app for each battery and the main system so you can see all three separately that's a huge plus i would like to see it on the side of this box but if, if it's in there I, i'm okay that's a start that's a start no company has the perfect product i've learned that myself mm -hmm. we have a lot of products from a lot of companies and we have found flaws and things that we could better on every single uh power station every single uh, solar panel every single solar product even these things guys when you buy something as simple as this you know what you know what sucks about these these cables these wires are way too short i wish they were longer so you can actually do something with it you can mount that in something and run the wires down a foot or so but they put them so short that if you clip this wrong and put this mc4 on there and you make a mistake you throw this in the garbage because you don't really have enough to do it again. So every company and every product has quote unquote flaws or things that can be uh, bettered or, or updated. And that's one of the reasons that we started this channel is we want to help this industry learn to better their products. That way you, the consumer, me, the consumer, remember we bought all this stuff. Um, we get a better product on the next upgrade. And that's the end game, guys. We want five bucks a product for five bucks of money. Now, this is $3,500. It's not five bucks, but the concept is still there. I want something that works. I want something that, that does what it says it's going to do. And that's it. And then I'm a happy camper. I don't want free stuff. I'm not looking for handouts. I'm looking for a product that does what it says. I don't think that's much to ask for in advertising and, and marketing and all that stuff. 
you know this if it says it's 3000 watt hours there better be 3000 watt hours in the box that's it that's all i asked for okay so you have as you see guys these are the new if you want to check these out miss rambling bob these are the new connector caps and look at how fast and easy they go on much much oh. better than the original ones guys i blinked and you were done already yeah you want to come try them again oh, so right. and it also has you notice the aluminum i believe it's aluminum guys aluminum uh casing and where the aluminium uh, uh okay. aluminium i think aluminium. they call it yeah across yeah, the yeah. pond they call it aluminium that's a but lot notice, of words you, so when you pop these off go ahead and pop those off notice how they pop right off simple right notice how the the ports are much more uh robust right mm -hmm. Uh, so this is positive, negative. I don't know which is which, guys. So one's obviously positive, one's negative, Could and then you, you find have out with, with a multimeter. Absolutely, hey. yep, yep. Just poke them in there, but be careful. Be careful, goof around with multimeters, guys. You kind of know what you're doing because you could short out a system if you do uh, it wrong. It don't right? be just, you know. Yeah, positive to a ground might be, you know, uh, not a good day. So uh, notice that you have your aluminium, guys, for uh, if you're across the pond, or your aluminum if, if you're here in the states. Uh, a good, robust. Notice how heavy that is. And one good thing uh, of, of uh, aluminum or aluminum uh, over plastic, guys, is plastic retains heat. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but plastic retains heat. It's not a good transference, if that's a proper terminology, to, uh, or a dissipation yeah, of heat go. because the plastic, it stays in the molding, right? So aluminum or aluminum, we're going to keep doing that joke, uh, can get extremely like if you let this sit here for probably 10 minutes this uh aluminium <laughs> will be the same room temperature as what we are right now because that's how fast aluminum adapts to its environment what does aluminium oh thanks yeah aluminium can i i have i have friends from the, over across the pond here so i i know about aluminium they've got weird words over there and i know how to say them okay can i do the thing yep now so you can put those back on there cool put the flat flaps on there whoa one. Oh, that was close. Mm -hmm. It's just like you have to line it up. You're trying too hard. I am. Yep, you're trying too hard. I just, am. Just line them up and poke them on her. I am. There. See? So if Miss Ramley Bob can do it, everybody can, right? Whoa! <laughs> Let's go get the cat and then speak that uh, way. Miss Ram right. uh, Ramley Bob cat could not do it, I don't think. I don't think her paws will work. Okay, so. Do you know why? See this, guys? It pops out really quick. See that? Do you know why? So you just line it up she real good here and thumbs. just tap it right in. Oh, see, I even had trouble. Look at that. Oh. Right so that's definitely, guys, that is an upgrade over the E2000 LFP. These are much easier and much better covers um, than... So uh, easy, a reindeer can do it. That, that's true, though. A reindeer can do it. Yeah. All right, so that's that side. Here's port one. Here's port two. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, let's see, extra battery port one. So that'll obviously go to the system. And then port two will go to port one of this one. Same as the other system, guys. Nothing really new there. Oh. All right, so here comes hernia number two. We're going to turn this around. Oh, my God. And it's not that they're heavy, guys. It's when you lift something past your waist, you notice that, no. like, like weight gets mm -hmm. heavier. You ever notice that? Mm -hmm. So when you, 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 you pick up a weight in the gym and you go, boy, I could curl that. And the next thing you know, you get past your waist and you're like, yeah, I quit. So that's kind of what happens with weight because that's the leverage thing. You know, down here it's light, up here it's heavy. Okay, so here's the other side now. This is going to be your inverter. So this is your, your DC out inverter and your charging port. So what you do is if you just had one of these boxes and you want to use that to charge your phone, your laptop, whatever, right? And here's your XT60. That's 12 volt at 30 amps, which is the same as what you have on the main system, which is nice because, guys, that'll run a diesel heater. That'll run a diesel heater, and the main system can run a diesel heater. Um, I'm a fan of diesel heaters, uh, just for the record. So once you put this in here, oh, no, see, you know, this, this one I don't like, guys. Okay, it went back in there. So sometimes when they, when they do these with these little shapes, sometimes it's hard to get it in there. So you just kind of kind of wiggle it, and it falls in. There you go. We had that same issue with, um, what was the, the one system? The Occutel, you remember the Occutel, the P2001, and it has the, uh, um, right there on the left side where oh, it has I, that, that mm -hmm. little port thingy, and that's an XT60, so yeah. it's in the shape of that. Uh, and then here... Oh, it's got that really weird shape. Yep, and you yeah. had to wiggle that little rubber thing in there, but yeah. once it fits, it's perfect. It was so flush, like it's perfect. And then here's your uh, power delivery port. Now, this is different than a standard USB port, guys. Power delivery means it can put out up to 20 volts at 5 amps. That's an awesome port to have because you could charge laptops like I, I charge this laptop with this 
right? I, I could charge that laptop from USB-C right into USB-C and boom, and, you know, like guys, this uses like anywhere between 13 and probably 35 to 40 watts tops for the entire system. It's not a big, it's an i7, but it's a light uh, travel version of i7, which is a, a U version. So imagine if I had 3,000, 72 watt hours, powering this bad boy all night long like that. Boy, that camping would be a heck of a game. Okay, so we figured that out. Uh, and then you have your 18, which is the Quick Charge C, uh, 3.0. Um, so uh, I think it's 12 volt is a 2.0. Um, what's the original one? Like six, six watts or something like that is a 1.0 old. That's the old one. And then 3.0 is 18 watts, guys. And then I believe they have something new coming soon, which is like USB 4 or something like that soon. Really? Um, yeah, they, they do have USB 3.2 already, hmm. but that's for transfer speed. There's a little bit more energy in there, but the, it's more of a computery thing rather than a power thing. And then this is your 5-pin aviation uh, charging. Now, here's a cool thing, guys. This is a monster upgrade. I cannot stress this enough, guys. When we charge um, the E2000 LFP uh, at 600 watts through port 1, the 5-pin aviation, and 600 watts to port two of the aviation on the main system, and then 400 watts on the battery and 400 watts on the battery. That power meter was the problem of that system because, and this oh. is why, it's not Peckrod's fault with this one, 100% not, not their fault, because the system was not designed to be charged that way. It Yes, it does work that way. I've done it many times, but it was not designed. So you, you can't really... Um, you know, like throw, throw, uh, what is it? Throw axes. If, if it wasn't designed to be that way, right? If a car didn't have a reverse, you can't yell at it for not having a reverse. I think that's, that's oh, fair yeah. game, right? Um, so when you charge 400 and 400 and then your main system, you can do 700. The problem was the power meter would get confused because the energy is bypassing through the back door and coming in the battery cells and the power meter doesn't understand that. So it would take anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour usually yep. to reset the meter to say, oh, I didn't know it was full, sorry. Yep. This one, guys, this, this is the monster update. I cannot stress this enough. This system, I watched two reviews already and I saw, and Hobotech did it too, and I trust Hobotech a lot because this guy knows what he's talking about. Uh, Jason Oy too. These these are good guys on on the uh, internet here. They were able to hook a system up, and we'll try that once in real time, guys. If my table doesn't collapse here, I'll take one of these off here. This is 120 pounds sitting here. I know. I'm watching yeah, the table is, right now. It's wiggling, right? Yeah. No, this is, especially when you uh, then you lean on it too, and it's yeah. Like, this is Whoa. yeah. I'll stop doing that. But uh, <laughs> this is not a joke, guys. These little boxes weigh. A t it's like you crawling on a table. Not a, not a good place to be. You know, get we're not young table. anymore. Yeah, get off the table. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what these are real quick, and then we'll do that setup where you can see the cables where we put one of these to the cable, and maybe we'll do two. Yeah, but maybe Whoa, if we get there. You, I don't know. Like I said, we're the only ones on the internet that I've ever seen or know of that has the full set. It's not a partial set. It's not a piece. We paid our money to get the full setup because that's how I like to do stuff. I want to see the whole product, not part of it. That's just what I like, guys. Everyone's got their own likes. So what these are, now this, this is a very, I didn't even know they were going to do this, right? I, I had no idea. This is a very cool thing, guys. So if we can, let's see, if we put them like this. Oh, my God. Okay. So. Hernia three. Seriously. Okay, so oh, I'll really? try to put, yeah, the table's wiggling. Okay, so it's like the Blue 80 stream when Tim puts all that stuff on a That's table. That's exactly what I was thinking of. And it's okay. like really small. Yep. So now this, guys, is a... Um, now, this is a new one, guys. I think they're pop-offs. Let me see. Let me see. Otherwise, I'll break it. Okay. Wow, don't do that. If, if, if I break it, I'll break it for you guys, right? Aw. I'm going to test it here. Ugh, I have no idea how they come out, oh. but I'm going to guess. Okay. Okay, very simple. So, I pulled this side wrong, okay? Yeah. So, but that's how you learn things, right? You make mistakes and you learn. Yeah. So, this side is actually a slider down, right? And then this is like a, 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 a pincher that goes inside these little slots. Mm. So when I was trying to rip these out, guys, I was trying to bend these. So Because that's what the other one does. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that's why I tried to you know, do the bear grab. So you go like this, you slide it down, and see, look, it, it pops right into spot. All see that, that works for nothing. Yep, so now that we know how to open it, Just you bear grab it. this way, guys. Look at it, it's backwards, right? And it pops right off. Now, this is what's cool about I think this is a monster upgrade as well. Because, remember, I'm a uniformity guy. I like things that look like a set. That's just the way I've always been. Notice that this is a corner. If you have one EB, or I'm sorry, see, I did it, mate. Oh. EP3000. Eric Paul. Now, 
what you do is you take this one off, Someone right? named Eric Paul is going to find this video and go, what? Yeah, that's Eric. Okay, so you, what you do is you take one off on this side and one off on this side. Now, watch how cool this is, guys. This is, I think this is a really cool thing. And I had no idea that this was <laughs> going to be done. So, obviously, this would go on like this, right? Who told you that? See how that see how that clicked in there, guys? How do you know? See how see how that's one piece now? And then you would pick this up. I'm gonna try, guys. I don't know if I can lift this, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, Miss Ramley Bob's staring at me laughing. Okay. So notice that guys. <laughs> you got it. I think I did, but my shirt's in there now. Okay. Oh, well, that's so, part of it now. Notice, guys, that this is one solid system, guys. They have to move together. Yes, they yeah. have they're forced to move together now. Notice the whole table move? So that's a, I th you think that's an upgrade? I it think is. that's a really Can cool thing. Can I explain thing. why I'm laughing so much though? Yeah. Okay, first of all, corners, if you know, you know. If you, yeah, yeah. Segnifly, I was going to make a joke when we opened up the main box to say like, do you think it has the same corners? And yeah. then we opened up these and they and had different. different corners. And they're different, yeah. I was going to say that and they did it. And now that crowd has sent us probably 20 or 30 of these corners like this. We own so many quarters and now we opened Corner up. Corner the market on corners. But, hey, that's so, but my joke. But what do you think about that? I think that's I think that's cool because then you can hold them all together. But that means you have to take them all out separately and put them now, around, here, right? Th this is a crazy thing, guys. This is a crazy thing. Uh, like I said, I, I saw a bunch of reviews for this system already because I was so excited to get it, right? Um, like I said, I, I literally heads over tails in love with this technology it, it's it's fascinating to me i haven't been uh so head over, uh, heels? Head over heels cartwheeling down the street i i, I love I this technology like to see that. i don't think i can cartwheel anymore but huh. um I this technology could. has caught me by fire so now that you have something like this guys it looks cleaner it looks better than the other side now like i'm comparing it to that side over there yeah now, see how you have like, the split here and they're crooked you I'm know like, this looks, looks all now. the same right it looks all the same so that's a plus now, I don't know if I'll keep it like that, but I, it gives you the option, right? It I gives like you it. the option. Well, you know, the bad thing is if you have them like that, you got to carry both at the same time. No, not doing that, guys. No, no you got to carry them at I'm the same time. I'm not throwing my me. back out. No, I'm not throwing my back out. Okay, so to put them back on, guys, you go like, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know how you go. Let me see. <laughs> We're learning. How do you go? Is do this, it live. This is this one. Yeah, F it. We'll do it live. Okay, here. So that's that one. Corner. Holy cow, they got a left and a right now. Holy cow. Yeah, they're different. Okay. Whoa, whoa. They, they all were the same. That would have took me a minute to figure that out. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so that's that's the batteries, guys. This this is 6,144 watt hours, I believe, if my math is correct. You so said, this this is cool. You now, said uh, we're the first people to have both, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And now, we're the first person to have these. Well, yeah, oh, guys, I was going to say that, guys. I, oh. I, I got so tongue-tied. Sorry, but, I like I said, I, I watched a bunch of reviews on this already. I think three or four. You're welcome. And you know what? I'll be honest. I have not seen anyone talk about these. No one. I don't know if they didn't get them or it's a new product. Well, did, um, they, did anyone else have two batteries, though? No. Because maybe they don't but send look, them. But look, look. I know, but maybe they don't send them unless you have two batteries. Nope, nope. See, you didn't listen. So this oh. comes in every system with every battery. That's why they were in both of them, right? Because uh, otherwise you'd have to open the boxes uh, and throw them in there. So okay. this is obviously either something that they just added or may maybe it's... For you. Yeah. For corners. Yeah, yeah, maybe they're poking fun at me because of my corners. <laughs> but guys, I, you know, I like guess that. guess what? We like these corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. jokes on you, Pecker, and I like them. Okay, so that's, that's cool. All right, so we got the two batteries. This is the power pack for... Holy crap, is that heavy. You know, you know what's in there? I what, did, guess. You hear, did you hear that? <laughs> that's a lot of weight in it. All right, so. Okay, can you not do that on the table? It already has a lot of weight on it. Yeah. yeah. It'll hold up for another five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna so back. What up. do you think's in here? Come on, what do you think's in there? I am going to guess that the cables with the right angles are look, in there. Look. You can DJ. Or you can just open it. Okay, or you can just open it, guys. Yeah. All right, she's in. She's in a, a hurry here. What? All right, I am too, actually. All right. A uh, hurry. Now remember that we got two of them, so you get two of these. Now we have seven of these pouches. These can pouches I have one? are fantastic. I suppose you can have one. Holy Ooh. crap, Zilla guys, look at that. That look at all this stuff. Look at this guys. That looks like a bowl of spaghetti. Look but, at all the stuff you get. Are you kidding what me? What is it? I like whatever's up here. I don't know what that is, but I'm in Yeah, hold on, I'm excited here. Hold on. All right, so we're You're gonna look excited. at we're gonna look at this right away. <laughs> so it's notice E P Eric Paul three thousand. That's what this system's gonna be called, the Eric Paul. Hi. Okay. I don't know Eric Paul, if you're out there, how you doing? Hey. All right, so here's all your things here. Here's your what have yous. So now here's your corners, guys. Now, uh, hopefully, you, I don't know if you can see this, guys. I'm really going to uh, make the attempt here. Um, 
So notice that those little orange corners, which are these things that we put on there. Like I said, I haven't seen those on anyone's channel. That's that's cool. Um, so new things. You find new things at this channel. Orange corners. And now inside there, notice that there's a bracket with two screws, guys. Oh. Right? Ah. Now these I saw. I didn't see the corners on their, on their website. But what these are, guys, is these are actual mounting brackets that are designed to go in between here somehow before you put the corner on. Uh -huh. And what that does Double is, hold it on. yes, it makes it more secure. So Guys, slide. great idea because remember, this is heavy. Is I, it? I, to be honest, I don't think this would ever tip over. I really don't. But you know what? More security, I'll take Things it. Happen. I'll take it. Yeah, you absolutely. Never you never know what the heck could happen with technology. Um, okay, so here's that, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so just a lot of words. It does look a lot better, a lot more clearly written, guys. See here, I'll give you a prime example. Look at, do not wire more than 236 volt solar panels in series. You know what that's called? Proper English, guys. So they're getting someone to help them with their manuals. And I think it's because I poke fun at them. Not not, not to be mean, but to, you know, to, to get these product uh, manuals better, over time so people can understand there's nothing worse guys if you want to thumb this up man seriously there's nothing worse than going back to 1980s and getting a stereo instruction or a vcr how many of you guys have a vcr that's still flashing the clock on it you got a vcr still no nah. there's people out there right now i guarantee you that are watching rambling by reviews on a vhs tape it's possible what that's possible okay so nah. they're probably having their you know, clock flash oh. because the, the the book you can't understand it. You know, it's in broken the, English. The, the flashing clock. I was yeah. always the one that go. Let me figure it out because like yeah. I couldn't stand. And, I, I and, need to know the time. Right. All right. So, but holy crap! Look at this stuff. Guys. I've been peeking holy the whole crap. time you're talking. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no peeking. No peeking. I've been peeking the whole time. All right. So let's start here, guys. There's a lot. There's a lot. I, Wait. If you were to buy this, I bet you that's two hundred dollars accessories. Hold on. Plus, I know we're excited. Plus. Yeah. Velcro. Okay, now you may Yeah, more that. Velcros. There you go. So you got a bunch more of these. Okay, so once again, you have your five-pin aviation to your cigarette, which means you can charge, uh, if, you know, the box all by itself if you want to have that. Um, that way you can have uh, just one of these bad boys if you want. Can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. Am I the only one that thinks about, like, birds and, like, planes when I hear aviation? Like, I, is it just me? Well, that's what uh, the aviation, that, that means they use it in the aviation industry. So these are the ports that they use in airplanes and stuff. Oh, is yeah. that why it's called that? Because that's like, why I it's... just keep thinking about birds. Yeah, no, no, well, hopefully, that's an aviary. Guys, if, if you're flying a plane, hopefully you don't see any birds. That could be a nightmare. Okay, well, but that's why they call it the aviation. Idea, though, from yeah. birds. These are designed for the aviation industry of like headsets and things, and they plug them in. I just feel better. Aviation that a lot. port. Yeah. Or aviation port. Okay, so here's another one, guys. Notice you have all these little cool zippy locky things here. Not zip lock, but um, Velcro zippies. Um, now notice once again you got your five pin aviation port right now you'll never forget that Birds. and notice there's a slit up here guys so you can't screw these up okay? I love those those are foolproof well you notice how they're in a perfect circle yes if that slit wasn't there that could really be easy to put it the wrong way so they put what's called an idiot slit in there it's for me <laughs> well I, me too That's um, that way you have to put it in with the arrow and that slit will obviously line up with the slit that's in the battery so that's that don't take that as a bad way guys that no. is a very positive thing you know, to have i'm gonna say it was something you shouldn't be doing and then once like, again look at negative red like say you just woke up and you realize oh the sun's out but i don't have it plugged in and you're like still half asleep that sure. make sure that you plug it in the right way without sure. too much thinking about it especially when you're half asleep because i'm not gonna lie that's happened well before, I'll, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll top you on that one what if you were, right. what if you were in the dark and you had to plug that in because you have no light and it's emergency now you can feel where that slit is and, and put that on the top. So that's 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 why they put it there, guys. That's why they put it there. Okay, so the next one is, is once again, we have Velcro! another set, yeah, oh. another Velcro thing. They get a, you get a smorgasbord full of uh, accessories wait, here, guys. A, a, so, I'm going to test you on something. Wait, let's test you first. Why are they different lengths? I length? was going to do that to you. Oh, okay. Why are they different lengths? Why are they different lengths? So they don't touch? So they don't, they have trouble touching each other, okay? So they don't shocks, like, shocks from a, they don't a, like each a, other. A, a battery system can be very dangerous uh, and give you a new hairdo. So oh, um, this is the same one, the XT60, into a fused, which is always good, guys. If you hook up batteries into something else, you always want to have a fuse because safety. You'd rather burn this out than your entire system. Um, and then, of course, you have your... These are unbelievably strong. Like, look at the grabbing of this. Look at what it does. I'm like, holy cow, I can't even let it do it. That's a heck of a grip on these things. They're, they're not cheaply made. There's a good spring in there. So that's the same as the... 
uh, the main system. So we'll put that wound up, guys. You're gonna have a, you're gonna need uh, like a suitcase for all the stuff that they give you with the system. It's, it's crazy, it's unbelievable. Uh, now, okay, so now you have this one. Now this one's a cool one too, guys. This one you got in the other, uh, the EB3000 with the E2000 LFP. If it's numbers confuse you guys, take notes. Um, I know I had to. This is your XT60 output. And uh, here, here's a secret, guys. So normally, normally they always put the positive by the flat side. That's normal in XT60s and XT90s. The nice thing is what Pecron did is notice. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. Notice that they actually put a plus right here and a minus right here. That's good, guys, because you don't like. So you don't want to make a mistake with direct current. You just don't. Alternating current it doesn't matter. You can flip flop it, but direct current is not a game. You want to make sure it's positive negative. Um, so that way if you mod anything or something like that, you know exactly what that is before testing it. Always test it, just be safe, but now at least you have a heads up. Um, this is your cigarette lighter. Here's this, this one I can do, look. <laughs> That's a hobo tech joke. Um, you wanna try it? Nope. Okay, so you don't wanna try it. And then here's your barrel. This looks like a 5525 or a 5521. It looks like a 25. It's a little thicker than the other one. Um, good, good wires, you can see how thick they are. Notice that uh, they, they stay pretty uh, taut. Um, you know, it has a lot of insulation, a lot of wire, and there's probably 12 gauge inside there. So you basically plug this in your system, you turn on your inverter, and then you can use this with anything you want, whether it's ham radio, CB, um, like we don't use them, but whatever you guys would use them for. Uh, cro you can put a crock pot, um, coffee maker in there, or um, basically whatever you want that's that's uh, 12 I volt. I use beef radio instead. Yeah, 12 volt, but remember it's 12 volt up to 30 amps, guys. That's a huge amount of power that can come out of there. That's a, that's a, that's a big amperage. Once you get past 15, you can feel that heat come through those wires. Okay, so that's another one. Um, here's another one. Okay, holy crap, Zilla. So here you got a five pin aviation to an Anderson, the same as the main system. So this gives you literally just about every way that you can think of in mainstream now to be able to hook up there's a slit so you always know where the top is um to hook up the system and charge it however you want to charge it so i'll put that there and now look at this guys look at this another one are you kidding me so now this i, I this might be something different i don't remember this in the e2000 lfp i could be wrong i'd have to go back and watch my own videos because i have uh literally like a 50 gallon drum full of this stuff and, and it can get confusing of which one it came from. That's why I try to put pictures um, to remember what came with what. Or I mark them. I put a little, you know, that little label thing, guys. If you use one of these, use one of these things, make a label. You twist it on there, and now you know what that cable came from. Usually with the five-pin aviation, Pecron seems to be the only one that, that utilizes this that I know of. So at least you'll remember that the five-pin aviation is uh, Pecron. Now that game, uh, gives you to a 55. This looks like a 5521 now. Let me see. Let me see if they're different. Um, this looks a little bit bigger, but, you know, four millimeters is hard to see with the naked eye, guys. Um, I'm going to say that's a 5521 and that's a 5525 because one is obviously an output and one's an input, right? So that's why they would be different like that. So you don't make the mistake in plugging in a solar power in the wrong, in an output, you know? So this one basically is, say you have a, 100 watt panel, you know, one of the little baby panels. We all have to start somewhere, guys. So there's 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 no hate in the game. Um, I had to start with a 100 watt panel. Matter of fact, I started with a two watt panel, uh, and you know they'll give you stuff like this, and that way you can plug it into the five pin, and then boom. As long as remember your voltage has to be high enough to get that five pin to activate, um, even though it says 32 to 95 volts on that uh, on that port, um, the the batteries now are actually 12 volt. To 95 that's a huge plus with the batteries over the main system your array is from 12 to 95 where the main system you have from 12 to 18 which is actually 25 open uh, voc open uh, circuit voltage and um 32 to 95 so there's that little gap in there right this one there's no gap um 12 to 95 volts anywhere in between if if i can do a recommendation guys i've been, I've been with pec run now the products for a year i've i've learned a lot i consider myself a semi-educated person with pec run products um if if you can guys try to stay under 80 volts i know it says 95 but I, I know it does i know it does but I got the best results when I stayed under 80. Don't know why. I don't know if they, they, they can handle all the way up to 95. Um, but the heat starts coming once you get over 80 for some reason. So I recommend, if I can make a recommendation, guys, 
anywhere between 12 volts and 80. So if you're going to do two in series, go up to 80. If you're going to get like, um, you know, two, two uh, 45 uh, volt open circuit panels, like we have the REC 45s, if you put them both together, that puts it up to 95. And there's two reasons I do that. One is I personally don't think that, I haven't tried this system yet, but I don't think that the inverters or the MPPT controllers like that high voltage like that. I, I don't think. Um, this one could be different. That's that's what the tests are for, guys. So we're going to do, obviously, another video later. Um, but uh, I recommend staying under 80 volts. And the other thing is, the, the, the second thing is, people don't understand that you could have voltage spikes, okay? So if this is a 95-volt system and you put in two panels, and let's say, just for argument's sake, they were... Uh, 94 volts open circuit in series. Just, let's just argument's sake, right? So you have literally one volt of safety margin, which is called headroom in, in the music industry. That's extra power that you can go above, you know, your max in case you need that extra push. You know, um, think of that, um, what was that famous movie? Uh, uh, These go up to 11. It's one more. Remember that? Mm. Um, oh, I forgot that movie. Uh, famous movie, guys. They were making fun of the rock industry. Uh, great movie. But uh, someone knows. So what happens is if the panels are really cold and you get a spike of, let's say, two, two volts, just two volts, being that you came in at 94 volts and you spiked it up to 96, what does that mean? You're one volt higher than what it says it can handle. That's why if you look on the ratings of all solar panels, everyone, I'll grab one here. Let me see. I, I got I got tons of stuff here, guys. Look, this is a tissue here. This is an old one. It's one of the first ones we ever got for fold up. Uh, okay, so I can't use this one because there's no ratings on it. All right, I, I got to grab the next one. Let me grab another one here, guys. My uh, my workshop is literally filling up with uh, my, my new hobby. Now, I, I like the way Pecron did. It's a Pecron 100 panel. And I think Pecron is the one that wrote it on the inside, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Rambling Bobcat's in the box. Can I, can I say something? Nope, see, they didn't do it. Uh, what the that? heck? Yeah. So the whole time while Rambling Bob has been explaining what's going on... The big panel's um, had it. The big panel's had it. Rambling Bobcat has realized that we've done an unboxing, and she's currently sitting inside one of the boxes and having a great time and rubbing her paws on the foam so if you hear that that's what that is in the background oh yeah she's silly guys she's silly okay she so will... let me see i hope we've got enough room for this now this is the blue eddy don't I, put it on the table i don't want to well here you got to help me hold it here okay. Just... yeah gotcha. guys we need a bigger uh, work, work area here we need right, a so we open this table. here now, one of them had i thought it was oh there it is Yay! okay so guys it wasn't pecker and i do apologize um, like I said, when I'm wrong, I correct myself right away. This is a Bluetti PV200, and notice that this is um, um, uh, the ratings, guys. Mm -hmm. I got tongue tied here. Ratings for uh, tight. with all these numbers, guys. I'll tell you what. So here's your VOC. That's the open circuit voltage, and it says 26.1 volts. And a lot of times they'll say plus or minus one or two percent or something like that a lot of times not on this one but notice how it says up to 23.4 that's the efficiency cell uh rating but a lot of times they'll have like on a cold day you will literally see and a lot of people argue about this but i've seen it firsthand i've seen it with my voltmeters you could get a power spike of up to five volts i've seen five volts that's a lot so if you're already coming in at 94 right for two panels or 90 with that five volts, even if it's a short time, you're overpowering the input and you could burn out your MPPT controller. Now, as you guys saw that video that I did, those are a pain in the butt cheeks to fix those and replace. They, they really, and it's scary too, because you don't want to open your system. I didn't want to open mine, but I, I, I was sure, uh, I was sure uh, hell bent on learning. Okay, where's that screwdriver here? That's what holds these on the wall. Now, guys, we have four of those. So we, uh, we, we, we like to test stuff big. All right, so look at all this. Not only does Rambling Bob love the phone that comes inside the box, but so does Rambling Bobcat. That's true. She's all right, so there. so that's the point of no return. Look I at this. wonder look what this. that could be. Look at this. I think look it's at a, that heavy-duty cable. I think it's a phone. Answer your phone. Hello. Okay, no one's there. Oh, okay. hello. Uh, all right, so guys, look at this. These are the new oh. patented cables. I, I believe that I was the one that gave Pecker on this idea. Those are the Bob cables. I, I told, yeah, the VOB cables for real, Rambling Bob cables, I'm going to call them. And? Um, I gave them I like this, that. yeah, the very, yeah, you actually have a clicker and that and one I like has, that they're orange. Actually. Yeah, that one had a twister. This actually has a lock. I like locks, guys. I like that they're orange. 
Yeah, I think they're red. Yeah, they're red. That's orange. That's yeah. orange. Yeah. That's like. What do you think, guys? They're red. Yeah, that's red. That's orange. So, why? Why do you think they're red? It's not red. Red for danger. Danger, Will Robinson. See? Look. Red. Well, that's just a deeper red. Okay. That's so, a deeper orange. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Picron. Now, is orange. That's true. Okay, so guys, okay. these will turn. Now, like I said, I, I feel like I helped design this system because uh, we gave uh, a lot of videos uh, critiquing the system and what we'd want to see in new systems. And one thing I asked them for is, guys, can you clean up the cable runs? These cascading cables, they look ugly. Remember, I'm a uniformity guy. I like that look of, look, they all look the same. You know, when it's, this is on a stage, you know, you look at fender amps and half stacks and full stacks, they all look the same. It's pretty. It's it's a nice look. And notice that this, guys, when you put it on the side here, look at that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. That they actually meet each other. Um, it could even been even a little shorter. But notice that these bend a little bit, guys. They're not that hard to bend. I saw some people, they said these are hard to bend. As you notice, look, at they're, they're not that hard to bend, guys. But they're extremely heavy duty because these are going to pull some amps and some serious voltage through there. You know, you got 48 volts, and then you got, I don't know how many amps, what, 80? Up to 80 amps, possibly? That's a lot of amps to run through a cable. So this is way bigger than even a car thing, you know. But this is both of them, though, so that's why it's together. But that's probably the same uh, gauge as a car, uh, a car uh, what am I thinking of? A, a car battery uh, uh, cable. Terminal? Yeah, cable. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's hooked to the terminals, absolutely. I was getting there. Uh, okay, so we'll get rid of those. Okay, Yay! so this is your system, guys. So you click that in there, do and now pop notice... All the pops now? Like yeah, you do. yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Now notice that when you put this in here, guys, it allows you to twist this. You see this? It allows you to twist, and don't go further than this white line here, guys. You see that white line? How you can go all the way that way, and all the way that way. And that's for obvious reasons, guys, is nothing is designed to really turn in a circle unless it's a very, very special... Um, connector so obviously these are 180 oh, connectors yeah. and they're not 360 connectors so all you got to do is put this MJ32 plug in here um, by JN J, Jan corn J N I C O N so you pop one in that side let me see if I can turn this bad boy around but uh, guys I, are you impressed so far I think I am as far as the first uh, let me get rid of one of these here oh they weigh more than I do see, you sure about that? yeah this is uh, that is not a joke, guys. If, if, if you have a problem lifting heavy stuff, guys, don't go lifting the stuff, man. You hurt your back. It doesn't even... Buddy system. Like... Grab your wife. Grab your husband. <laughs> Grab your neighbor. Even... It doesn't even look, like, that heavy. Like, like well, that's, doesn't... that's the rock. Yeah, that's the The rock doesn't look heavy. Try to pick up a rock the size of your head. It's up to 100 pounds. It's crazy. No, not the wrestler. Oh. Okay, so, guys, look at this. I look look at this. Heavy too, oh, he's heavy. He's got to be about 240, 250. Look, look, at, look at all of these cables, guys. You got this, and you got this, and then you got this. That, that is a smorgasbord. And then you have these two, guys. Don't forget about these. All of that came in one. Oh, and, and, gosh, and this thing. All came as an accessory pack. I guarantee you that if you bought these all separate, you'd be spending two, three hundred bucks. I guarantee it. You know, this alone is probably what fifty bucks for one of these. I could see that going fifty bucks, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're not gonna hook the batteries together here. We're just gonna see how the they hook up. I remember the word I was thinking of for deceivingly heavy, right? Very deceivingly. Yeah, absolutely. I've been thinking of that word since we brought them out, so I'm happy I got there. All right, so here's your ports, guys. So you open these bad boys up. Obviously, you do the system to number one, and then number Number two to number one of the next one and then like I said you want to read the instructions guys which we'll do before we hook them up and you'll see that this little dial here is to make them different so the app understands that this is two separate batteries and not the same battery a uh, very very great update because that's how the system can understand that it's two different battery packs as being confused with the power meter that it's one large one now it understands it's three separate ones acting as one large one so all you do is you put this bad boy in here like this uh, like i said these are heavy duty cables guys um so you click it like this and you click it there you hear the click oh so very heavy duty. and now look at see how that turns oh so there you go and now you can put like you can put this battery behind it you can put the battery That's on so top nice. of it yep and then this will bend a little bit so you can go like this and then you have a nice little arc right and it's totally fine to bend these are very uh very heavy duty i bet you i could climb that if that was a rope i could climb that i would trust that as far as the weight um have my big butt up on this this rope climbing up the tree but um 
that's how easy it is there. And to take this off, guys, you hit this, which is nice because Blue Eddie has this. This is a safety release thing, okay? Uh -huh. If you do not push this button, you cannot pull it out without breaking it. That's nice because you don't want to get a shock from that. And you don't want to shock the system. So after you push the button like that and you pull them, see, they're in there good. You pull it out like, holy crap, Zilla. Okay, wait. There it goes. Okay. So, obviously, it's new, guys. It's very taut. Especially with the aluminum and aluminum. Yeah, with the uh, uh, aluminum. That's what I said. Yeah. You didn't hear me? With the, with the aluminum. It's, aluminum. it's not plastic, guys. I like that. I think that's a huge upgrade and a very good safety upgrade, too. So far, what I've seen of the system, guys, I, I'm, I'm very stoked about this. I really am. All right. So, let's see. Um, we're going to try to do... Let's see. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to do this. Okay. So, let's do... Because I'm gonna try one thing while we're here, guys. Okay. Oh. This will be a uh, a sneak peek, guys. Okay. I was uh, just about to say that. Holy crap! So that is so heavy. It's so heavy, guys. If, like I said, if you're not used to lifting, uh, remember, look at you get a whole other one. Holy cow! Holy cow! That's got to be two or three hundred bucks for this stuff. Plus the box. The box will cost you twenty, thirty bucks. There you go. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this system, guys, and we're gonna put it up here. That's a lot. Okay. Guys, a lot of people are trying to put this battery. I saw in one review for Hobotech, he put this battery on top. Don't do that. Put the heavier thing on the bottom. You always want to go upwards with weight. If you put a heavier item on top of a smaller, lighter item, it's, it's well, not, don't worry about the crushing. That's oh. a pretty good case. What happens when you put more weight on top of something? It tips over easier, right? Oh. Because it makes it top oh. heavy, hence a top heavy, like a Snowman. sailboat. Yeah, there you go. So at a snowman, you aim upwards from bigger to small. So always remember that, guys. That's a safety thing that I learned years ago. Don't put speakers or anything. Don't put the little one on the bottom and the big one on the top. Just a bad idea. So Hobotech knew better. He was probably just tired. Um, okay, so let's hook this up, guys. So this would go into this port now. So basically, you just bend it to where you need it, okay? And then you put this bad boy in there like this. Okay, now wait. Actually, oh, you can kind of see yeah. that. Well, yeah, that's going to be tough to see, guys. Yeah, Hold that on. one's going to be a little Let difficult. Let me see. Well, no, the, the, they can't get it. Okay, so I'll turn on the AC, guys. You'll be guys. seeing it again later better, right? Yeah. So we're going to do a whole thing on this thing. Oh, well, th th this will have many videos, guys. I'm sorry, you know? I speak in things sometimes. Whether people like it or not, I'm going to do many videos on the system because I think this system has many upgrades over the E2000 mm -hmm. LFP, and I like the E2000. I, I like it. I use it every day. Would you say my second language is thing? That's you know, possible. Like, hey, the thing and with the thing. Oh, yeah. No, it's thingamajiggy. Guys. That's a no, scientific term. The you know, the what have you and the thingamajiggy. Okay, so guys, we're going to test this in real time. I don't know if the battery, uh, what this is on and what this, well, we know this is at 70, right? So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to see if, if this one is at a different uh, power rating as far as uh, the percentage um this will correct once i hook up that thing so let's hope that this is a little bit lower guys let's hope okay that's that's Maybe the thing that. and then when you hook the second battery up let's hope it does it again i don't know if i'm gonna do all three of them because like i said i don't think this table can hold it right we have to put this on the floor where it belongs it's a 160 pound system plus this doesn't belong on a table it belongs on the, on, on the floor it'll smash or it'll you. end up on the floor it'll end up on the floor okay so 70 eh. percent, guys we're gonna see this in real time okay is it is that high enough? Let me see. Is it high enough here? Eh, let me go up a little bit here. Hold on. Yeah. All right. All right. If you see something, Mr. Ramley, Bob, say something. Yeah, that's that safety thing. If you see something, say something, guys. Okay, so um, 70%, okay. And now I'm going to plug this in, guys. You're not going to be able to watch this too much because I have to go behind the system a little bit. I wish they were on this side, guys, like the original system was, and I'd be right here, right? Mm -hmm. But it is on the left side, and they must have done that for a reason. And I think it's because here's the charger, oh. right? So it has to be on that side. Otherwise, you'd have all that space wasted. On the other one, I believe the charger is... No, see, the charger's on the other side. I don't know why they did it, guys. That's something new. Maybe I'll get used to it. But it is nice that my E2000 LFP cables will be hanging out this way. Mm -hmm. And these will be hanging out that way. Maybe so I can put them kind of next to each other. Maybe that's why. But you don't want to put systems next to each other and run them, guys. Because Ooh, the hot air from... Oh, go ahead. Because the hot air will blow into each other, and they're yep. just going to be breathing on each other all day. And yep. then well, gonna... not, not into each other. Remember, the, the hot air from one system will be sucked into yeah, the next system. It's going to be system. breathing on the other one. It's going to yep. suck in its air. And it's Which means what happens to the second system? It's going to get hot, hot. It doesn't properly in... cool down because yeah. it's breathing in hot that air. Yeah. All right, so let's all try this here, guys. Let's, uh, let's focus on this here, guys. Okay, can you see that yeah. good? You see that? Yeah. Okay, 70%, guys, okay? 
Now I'm gonna I have to go in front of it because I have to plug this in. It's just it is how it is. Okay, I'll try to get out of the way, but I don't think I can. All right, let me try to plug it in real quick here. All right, and we're gonna see it. Okay, it's plugged okay, in. Did you I hear heard the click? it. I heard okay. it. Well, I, those are hella cables. Holy cow, they they stiff. All right, now what? Because uh, they're new. And now notice how nice it looks, guys. If you had the other battery underneath. Now look at that. Do you see that, guys? You I saw that? that. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? That was instantaneous. That, that is the huh. best, guys. I cannot reiterate this enough. What? I cannot. That is a monster flipping upgrade. But Why is that a big upgrade? Because it recognized the battery right and away. readjusted its level. I didn't cut the video, guys. You saw it in real time. It went I from didn't. 70 C, 74. It's readjusting to the batteries now. It's uh, like a swimming it pool. That. Yeah, I thought like, it would take longer. But what it's doing is if this had more, the energy is flowing. Uh, the voltage is flowing to the other one, so it balances like a swimming pool. That was so okay? quick. You like blinked and it was like, hey. We welcome. normally have to wait 30 minutes to an hour. That alone, guys, if I could do that to the E2000 LFP, if I could purchase that upgrade, I would do it. it but I don't so think you can. It was so quick that I was like scared for a minute. And then I remembered what it was doing. You yeah. Because it was like, yeah, and down, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So now you know, guys, that this full system, right? This wow. full system, I think it's about 4,500 watt hours. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on that. Um, it's uh, 15, almost 1,600 plus another th almost 3,100. Uh, so it's about 4,500, is now at a full system load of 64%, which is 52.6 volts. So that's cool, guys. You saw it in real time that this system was able to pick up on the mistake, which is a huge mistake in my opinion, that the E2000, you have to fill it completely full, and then it has to reset real slow. You'll see it go up 1%, 1%. This SOB, I can say SOB because Whoa. that's a big one now. This is a big Holy one, guys. Crabzilla. Crabzilla, guys. SOB. This reset 6% in real time. That means that this system and this system is communicating. Pecron, nice. If you listen carefully, you can hear them. And I don't hear any of that that modem talk. No, it was a joke. Okay, yeah, you know, I don't like, hear the like modem you said talk. Communicating, so you can you get it. Yeah. Oh, and guys, one other thing. Okay. This this is a huge thing. Also, no, I I also have not seen oh. anybody else's review talk about this, and I think this is the very important stuff that we need to discuss for people to learn how to use stuff like this. So in the original system, when you put one battery pack, you had to set your power meter, you know, with that fancy, you know, that, that gibberish up here with the hidden menu that started this whole channel. I was going to say, the menu that started it all. Yeah, that, seriously. So you had to goof around, right, and set all these numbers to 4,992 watt hours because that was one battery and the E2000 LFP. Did you guys see me touch anything? No. Nothing. I plugged it in, it's done. It knows. How nice is that? Now this, yeah, it knows. There's an so automatic can, adjuster. There's a lot of automatic in that one. There, now. That means that there's communication going on it's and learning. proper. Yes, it learns on the fly, which is called on the fly. Now, oh. why is this important, guys? And I'll give you a monstrous reason of why this is a very valuable feature to not have to goof around with those stupid menus. Okay, so we want to go fishing, right? I'm not carrying 160 pounds down to the lake. That's crazy. But what I would do is unhook this battery and take this top part at 40 pounds. Yeah. I would do that. Now, what happens to the power meter when I unhook that, that sucker? It readjusts to just the battery in here. Now, when you bring this bad boy back, hook it back up to your power box, right? Your, your power batteries. What happens to the power meter again? It readjusts. Readjusts on the fly. You don't have to goof with the numbers, guys. Are you kidding me? Between the E2000 LFP and the E1500 LFP, this alone of what I've seen, this is the unboxing, for God's sake. This is the beginning of the videos. There will probably be 20 or 30 videos of these. This already has impressed me where I wish I could take that UPS, that internal charger, the automatic menu that knows what it's doing now the power menu it's got it's got a brain now right those three options alone i would give peck around 500 cash if they could make my e2000 lfp update like this so i can use both i'm gonna use both systems anyway but holy crapzilla guys that is a monster update i haven't seen many people talk about that i saw the reviews um that when you disconnect this as watch we'll do it right now this probably um 
balanced, right? It's probably, you know, it was probably 70 up here and it was probably, who knows, 60 or something down here, which I recommend under 50 to ship them, Pecoron, just a note. Uh, safer, safer. Um, so it adjusts. So what I'm going to do now is on the fly, I'm going to unhook this and we're going to see if it goes adjust back or did it already flow the energy back and forth because remember there's a lot of power that can run through this cable i'm excited so i'm going to probably make weird noises because i have to pull out this plug that literally is thicker than my arms would you agree to that miss rambling bob yeah there's more muscle in this cord than my arm oh okay. definitely i ain't getting no younger all right hold okay. on let me see if i can get this out of here you can watch this in real time guys okay i'm gonna try to get it out oh my god oh my god <laughs> Those are you. She said it. Oh my god! That's, Don't forget to click that's the thing. So stiff. Yeah, I gotta click. Ah, holy crap, Zilla! Guys, I can't get it. They're right, there forever on. now. Okay. Is it in? Hold on, let me see. Is it in? Okay, there. Holy oh. crap, guys! Holy crap, Zilla! Look at that, guys. <laughs> Am I right though? Am I right? So that means the the voltage didn't flow yet because it didn't need it. So notice, guys, the power meter is intelligent now. That alone, I would pay, this is not a joke, I would literally pay Pecron $500 upgrade if they could do that oh. to my E2000 LFB. I, I would do that. Hopefully they hear that and fix that system for everyone else. Otherwise, you have to wait until that bad boy adjusts to it. So now what we're going to do is try it one more time. Since we're doing a little bit of quick test here, I'm going to plug this bad boy back in. Can't see it. Here, watch it in real time. Okay, it's plugged in, guys. Watch. One, Don't two, blink. three, four, five, six, seven. Is it all the way in? I think it's all the way in. Yep, okay. So let's see if that adjusts here, guys. Let's see. It adjusted really quick that first time. Well, maybe, time. Ma maybe it did balance, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that was a, that was a monster upgrade because, like I said, then you know where you're at, guys. Yeah, maybe the voltage did do it. I don't know. Let's see. Is it plugged in all the way? Let's see. Seventy percent. All right. All right. Let's see. That's what the tests are for, guys. Let's see what it does. You know what? Grab me a. Um, oh, I don't know. Grab me that four hundred watt uh, heater on the wall here. We'll we'll do. A, even though this isn't the testing portion, guys, we'll, we'll give it a try. But when that adjusted on the fly, guys, very happy, very happy about that. I, I want to see, I want to see if it adjusts or, like I said, if if the, maybe the voltage did flow, and that's why it went. Uh, yeah, maybe it's at seventy now. But I heard it's time to heat things up. All right, yeah, let's give it a little, little quick test. Oh, look okay. at. Hey. You, you guys, you see that? You see that? It suit my timing. As soon as I was literally going to hook this in to see if I have to activate the battery, Did you... notice that it took a little bit longer this time, but it worked, do right? Do you know why? Uh, how long was that? What do you think, 30 seconds or so? Do you know why, though? Why? Because I said the magic term, heat things up, and it was like, oh, that's my cue. Oh, yeah, that's true. But yeah. you, you know what, though? Uh, I was literally going to use this to see if I can kind of, you know, jump the system a little bit and see. But I... look at guys. It did it. It did it. So maybe the first one was just so quick that, you know, like it was excited. I don't know. <laughs> now it's used to it. But guys, it adjusted. So now you know that that 6% of battery overall, you still need from the solar panels. And that is a huge, you can put this away now. We don't need that anymore. That is a huge monster update, guys. Pack rod, that's not a joke. If you could do that to my E2000 LFP, I'll even ship it back. That's, that's a big, big upgrade, that alone. Um... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have to make more videos, guys. This is a serious, serious upgrade as far as technology and the reliability. You still got the wireless charging up there. I would like to see um, two of these. Th that would have been nice to see two 5-pin aviation inputs. But this is a little bit stronger, so you have your 700-watt rather than your 600-watt. And you do have a 2200-watt inverter with a 4400 watt surge and guys i saw the reviews already i'm gonna test it myself um mm -hmm. this can handle up to 2500 watts for a short time that's unheard of with pecron because every system i've ever had once you go past that rated power that surge is this much and you're done i've seen it go all the way up to 2400 sustained for almost two minutes 2500 for a few seconds that's way over than what that inverter is designed to do. So the surge power is really nice. 
All right, guys. Well, what you want to add anything else to other than we have a lot of uh, we have to build this system over there now. Yeah. We're gonna take the Occutels out of the uh, the little cart because we didn't get the cart, guys. We forgot to go get the cart. That was my my mistake. Mm -hmm. Um. So we're gonna take those. We got two blue eddies and two Occutels on that cart. We're gonna take that all off, and then we're gonna go get a cart next week because uh, not on sale again this week. But we're gonna put the EP. We're gonna put the EP, and then we're gonna put the LFP fifteen hundred on top. Of the other cart, and then the nice thing is, guys, we are like I said, we're the only ones on the internet that I know of that literally have both of these systems now in full array. We have the full setup, both batteries in both, and we will be getting guaranteed with my own money, our own money, we will be buying the E3600 LFP as soon as that's available yeah. with two extra batteries, and then we plan to use this one as the portable one that we talked about. Or you could bring it back and hook it to a battery or whatever and use it that way. I think that is a huge upgrade as far as versatility that you can you know, use one of these batteries for the 3600 and use one of these batteries for this. Or use both for the 3600 or both for this. Or four of them. You could have four batteries, I, I guess, on the 3600 LFP, which is 15,000 watt hours, guys. I'm looking forward to that. Um, so right now we have probably, what, about 20? I don't know what we got. I think we got... I think we have about 20 to 25,000 watt hours of power as far as battery banks, guys. Uh, we have 7.5 uh, 7 rounded, 8, that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. Yeah, about 25 watt hours, uh, sorry, 25,000 watt hours full of power. And then we're going to have the um, E3600 LFP, which like I said, we're, we're buying this with our own money. The background's not giving us, you know, free. I wish they would, but they're not. Um, but I, I believe in this technology so much to put out my hard-earned cash, and uh, I'm not selling them anytime soon. These these are these are my babies. I like these. I do like my other ones, but I like these. Um, my favorite system so far, guys, out there. Uh, all disclosure is the AC500 uh, with the six batteries. It's 18,000 watt hours. But you know what the problem with that is, guys? That's a $15,000 system. This cost 3,500. I get seven. That costed. Uh, was it 45, uh, 4,500 for the E2000 LFP? And between those two systems, that's half price of the Blue Eddy one. As long as these systems do what they're designed to do and get us through an emergency, I don't care whose name is on here. I don't. I'm looking at usability, product, and price. That That's about it. Um, th th this could say Adidas or Nike. I, I, I don't care. Um, I just want a product that works well. I think we're all in the same boat, right? We want something that works yeah. for when you need it, right? Uh, you know, how, how do you feel, guys, when you go out and you start your car and it doesn't start? <laughs> end of the world feeling, right? That's the end. Of, it happened to us again, and we used the VTO Jumpman, and it started in seconds. So I think we got to get a new battery. I think we killed that battery. But uh, to be able to be saved by technology like this, guys, is not only awesome, it is life-saving. Because imagine if you had an emergency and you had to get somewhere, and here you take this bad boy, right? You plug this bad boy right in here. You flap these right on your 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 battery, right? And now the next thing you know, you can start your car after a few, probably a few minutes. Once the amp starts flowing in there, gives you enough amps to start your car at 12 volts at 30 amps. That's a lifesaver. What if you had to go to the hospital or something, you know, or go to work? You know, that's just as lifesaving. You don't have a job. You don't have a house. So uh, that's uh, that's a big thing, guys. I, I think, I don't know, this rambling Bob, I'm going to turn this off. If, if you want to add anything uh, of what you like, I, I like the same grade handles. Mm -hmm. Good. Flat. Look at this guy. Extremely. Yeah, flat. Flat. Uh, so I, I like the arcs style. still. I like the yeah. arcs. Uh, the reason for the arcs, guys, th this is one thing I like. Notice that this cable uh -huh. can fit right through here and go all the way to the back, right? I like that. So if you have extra cables, guys, and you're not pushing too much power, you can shove them in here and you got a nice clean look, right? So you can, I run them from the back of the system up uh, like this. I would run them just like this, guys. So I would run this through here. I would pick this up here. And then uh, notice that you can plug this in. Uh, let's see, I'll plug it in right I'll plug it in real time. I don't care. Okay, so and then now notice that these bad boys are back here ready to get used. Um, if you're not pulling much power, there's no heat buildup in there because of the, the, the big space. And look how nice and clean that looks, right? I don't, I don't like cables all over the place. I never like that. You know, like I said, I'm a uniform guy. So uh, a uniformity guy. You know, when you're in production, that you, you look at everything because on a DVD, people are going to see it and they're going to make fun of it. So you want to try to make it look nice. This is the monstrosity of a pile of stuff that you get with this system. Hopefully you can see that, guys. I hope you can because that, that pile, this is mental. This is just, background. good job on this. So 
corners. Look at this. There's literally. You know what? Let's count it real quick here, guys. You got one, right? Plus the case. That's two. Here's three. Okay. Here's four. Here's five. Here's six. Here's seven. Here's eight. Here's nine. This technically ten, and this is eleven. So you get eleven. Count yeah, count the case. Okay. Eleven pieces. Which one is the book and one is the, the so you get nine accessories with that. That's crazy. Show me another company that gives you this much I stuff. Like Remember, them. these are ten to twenty dollars or thirty dollars a piece when you have to buy them. That's two three hundred dollars of accessories right there, hands down. Go on Peckron's website and go look. Go on Blue Eddie's website and look. One cable like this that costs you thirty bucks, twenty nine ninety nine. But uh, all right. So anything else you want to add? I do like that little locking system. That's mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm excited um, to try it and use it and test it in. Uh, uh, they're probably glued. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I thought I could bear hug it and bear grab it, but uh, I don't think so. Yeah. You're gonna be so, hugging it. All right, so guys, I, I think this will be the end of this video. This was the unboxing. It's really long because, uh, like I said, I, I'm 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 fascinated with this technology. It's caught me by fire. It's caught me by storm, and I just I can't let it go. Um, I'm spending more money on this than I've ever did on any other hobby in my life, probably. Would you agree to that, Miss Rambling Bob? Yeah. But you know the secret is? She likes it too, so it's 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 okay. Long, you know, happy wife, happy life. Remember that. Write that down. Write that down, guys. Write it down. Circle it. Um, happy house, happy spouse. Yeah, you know that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's that's a big thing in life. Uh, happy, hopefully, hopefully everyone is is, is blessed as, as lucky as we are. Um, to have that that union ship like this and 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 a cat on, and a cat and on top of, well you know I don't like the cat much no, no. I love the cat so uh, to be able to enjoy your hobbies with with a, with yeah. a friend is really cool guys and the bestest friend in the world is uh, is my Mrs Rambling Bob so the cat. that that really and and a cat I don't like the cat no I like the cat wow so, <laughs> so but uh, yeah everything else guys I I like it so far I haven't heard the fans kick on not once but we didn't use it. The, the only fans excited right now are us and rambling bobcat yeah right so i'm going to test all these guys Everybody in later fans? videos guys you know, there'll obviously be a lot of videos i'm not even going to candy coat it i'm going to put a, a bunch of videos and i'm going to test everything they that i can for every video ever possible um, yeah i think we did about 40 or 50 videos with the e2000 but guys that was my first big system and i liked it i liked it i i know a it, couple it people had a little bit of trouble it. with some of the systems the first mm -hmm. generation i know i was there with you um we wouldn't be here you know, without it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't be in the solar game if it wasn't for I meant, I meant. Uh, Mylon and Pecron and Occutel and Blue Eddie and those guys. And BTO what, Man. I also meant like just rambling in general. Like, and, yeah, and rambling in general. Well, I'd still be rambling. You just wouldn't be listening. I, All right, well, so I, I'm going to let this go, guys. I'm going to let this go. Notice it's down to 64. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try one more time. I, <laughs> he's going to be, just for the record, he'll be doing this even when the cameras aren't rolling, you know, because he's excited. <laughs> oh, okay. So I did it wrong, guys. So oh. you have to push this forward i thought you had to push it down it's up to 70 already. See this? oh yeah see there it readjusted see that <laughs> as you're so, explaining that see how you can click it you actually push it forward you see that oh so okay so like i said this is what the unboxing is for guys you know i'm not professional with this stuff i'm learning yeah, as i go but uh, notice it look at it readjusted but on the fly guys how, how silly is that i'm gonna try it again one more time Dave. <laughs> guys i'm really excited about this this is gonna be happening Later this is gonna be about nine times tonight. Watch this. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Do it in real time. I think we're there already. Last time I think it took what about thirty seconds to readjust it. We here? turned and looked away, so don't look at it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna stare at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna point at it. Wow. Give it to Harry Potter pot one. Never boils. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. I've seen it. Okay. No. Hold on. Seventy percent. It's because you looked away. Go. Expelliosis. Wait. Isn't that isn't that a Harry Potter thing? You're close, but. Mm. Expelli uh, meteorosis. Nope. Expelli meteorosis. Watch as soon as I turn around, because it's gonna go. Expelliarmus, which gets rid of something. So I don't know. Yeah, Expelliarmus is seventy. It's, it's, yeah, Expelliarmus is seventy. I'm pretty sure. Come on. Maybe you have to tap it. All right. Maybe. I think I think it was like thirty seconds. So guys, you just give it a minute here. You know this video is like twelve hours long already, so yep. a few more seconds is not gonna be a problem. Let's see what it does. Okay, I want to make sure. I wish I could keep this on, guys. And I believe in the app you're able to keep that on, so I'll check that. Like I said, there'll be a lot more videos here, guys. Um, let me turn on the AC. Okay, maybe that had to be on or something. Oh, guys, look at that. Okay, so there, there's your secret. Uh, when I turn on the AC, it adjusted instantly. Oh, and you turned it on before, probably, too. Yep, yep. So there you go. So, yeah, I had it on before. I, had it on, I, I just had the DC on this time. So, guys, if, if you have, um, if you wanted to reset very quickly, you just, and we'll try it again in real time. Real long. I like this, guys. I'm having fun with this. 
Um, <laughs> that is a heck of a cable to get out of the middle. It's While you're so... doing that, can I try a thing? Okay, I give up. Guys, I don't oh. have any muscles left. That is so hard. Okay, okay. what? If you've made it this far in the video, yeah. type avocado in the comments. Avocado? Why would they type avocado? That's just the thing. That's the whole thing is then people would put avocado and other people wouldn't know why because they didn't make it this oh. far in the video. Yeah. No, I, no I, 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 I'm going to one-up her. I'm going to one-up her. What? You ready to get one up? Okay. No. If you made it this far in a video, guys, type rambling. <laughs> type rambling. Hashtag rambling or quotation rambling. Uh, rambling avocado. <laughs> yeah. No, not rambling avocado. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're going to leave it at this for the unboxing. There's going to be a ton of tests and a lot of new videos, guys. I, I'm a big fan of the system already so far. Uh, I'll be using both of them at the same time. Um, let me turn this off and let me turn this off. And then, uh, boom, there's it's the whole system's down. Um, yeah, so the next video will probably be some tests and everything. And first, I think we should do the app first, maybe the next video. But, guys, thank you for joining us tonight, man. This is this Yay. was a premiere that we did. I know it was supposed to be shorter, but you know, I, I ramble, guys. That's why my name is Rambling. So, uh, hopefully, you learned something tonight. And, uh, what's that? Oh, I was just laughing at you saying that you'd have a short video. Sorry, I, I had a short video I once. I thought it was a joke. Remember, I wish everybody happy, a happy Thanksgiving. It was only two minutes, that was a short one. No. Am I right, though? No. Oh, okay, two minutes, 14 seconds. No. I got a real good memory for numbers, guys. Okay, so this is all set. I'm going to go put this bad boy up. I'm going to I'm gonna play all night on my new toys. And uh, I'll see you guys. Thank you for joining us, guys. Don't forget, if you're not a scriber, join the scriber family. We aim to help each other on this channel. We, we, we don't let people go uh, unheard. If you have a... Uh, uh, a, a disagreement, a complaint, uh, a different of opinion, as long as it's respectable, guys, we all want to talk as a community because that's the best way to enjoy this stuff guys otherwise if you go to some channels and it's negative 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 it's like guys you can't figure out anything when everybody's yelling you know what i mean if oh. you have an issue or a problem we talk about it figure out the problem we find the problem we find the answer if everybody's just a yelling and stuff boy it's hard to it's hard to get a dialogue there you see that in the rest of the world going on crazy with the arguing back and forth with the wars and everything we don't need any more wars guys all right Ramble on, be safe. If you liked the video, get up there and click that button. Donkey Kong, hammer smash it, right? You guys remember Donkey Kong? Be a scriber. Be a scribe. Yeah, scriber. Hey. Scriber family. All right, guys, we love you dearly, and we'll see you on the next Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye, Bye. guys.